Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, one and all, to a very special live stream tonight. Also, thank you to Waldo for gifting 10 memberships immediately off of the bat. Welcome, one and all. I hope you're all feeling very wonderful. Am I late? I'm not late. Look, I'm, I'm a, a Britishman arrives exactly when they're expected to, of course. Yes. <laughs> Anyway, welcome friends. Um, today is going to be a unique day as we're actually going to attempt to speedrun Factorio in a way that has never been done before. Um, well, I say never been done before. We've attempted it a couple of times. However, we've always run into, um, always run into problems. Uh, what with server crashing, um, there being not enough organization. And so this time we were joined by the actual Factorio speedrunning community that has been organized together by several people to, um, to speedrun the game. Now, the first two runs are effectively practice runs. They exist to teach all of you how we're going to be doing it for the third run and also to potentially set the world record. Now, the first two runs aren't standard Factorio speedruns. The normal Factorio speedruns are one person can speedrun Factorio in like an hour and 20 minutes. Or alternatively, a team of five people can speedrun it. Um, today, I do believe we will be having a team of close to 70 in the first one. Um, as you can see, they're, they've set up their like test factory. Um, this is where most of the spiffing people are going to be located. Uh, but you basically need to focus on having the most optimal, optimal setup imaginable uh, when it comes to Factorio. And this is going to be one hell of an experience. So um, make sure, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching the stream, you give it a like, of course. And yes, you can all join uh, for the third and final run, which we'll be doing uh, towards after the first few runs, either succeed or fail. Uh, we'll be doing it regardless. Who knows how successful it might be. It might be a case of too many cooks, you know, spoil the broth. It might also be a case of just absolute artistic perfection. There's no way of knowing until you try it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so yes, this is effectively what we're off taking a look at. The wonderful world of speedrunning Factorio. Well, you died again. Well, this is the lobby, okay? We haven't actually started the run, you silly sausages. For every light, Spiffing Brit will snort a tea bag. I mean, I can't promise I'll do that, but I can certainly give it a try. <laughs> um, but yes, logically, if you didn't know how Factorio works, you're stranded on an alien planet. The goal is to build a rocket, go to space, and leave it. Now, the the main bottleneck is science, it's the inhabitants of the planet, it's extracting the resources in as efficient a way as possible. This can actually be relatively challenging to do if you're not an expert. Luckily, we're joined by some absolutely incredible experts who know what they're doing. And uh, yes, that is what we'll be messing about with today. As you can see, this is a very complicated setup. When you're doing Factorio speedrunning on this scale, it's basically a case of can you um, can you use human beings to lay out blueprints fast enough? And that's what we're going to be attempting. Human blueprint printing, which should be wonderful. Uh, so yeah, we've got the rocket down here. This is where the rocket power plant is going to be constructed. This is... Um, I, this is science zero. Yep, yeah, there's science zero up there. There's spiffing science up here. Uh, there's power systems over here. It's all very complicated, but yes, it's um, it, this is the most optimal and efficient way of speed running the game with a catastrophically large amount of players. Discord link is invalid. What? My own Discord link is invalid. My Discord link is discord.gg slash spiffing. I'd be surprised. Oh my god, one cooler guy. Jesus Christ, with a... Oh, I should probably lower my microphone. I realize that's peaking. Jesus Christ, thank you very much. Um, stupidly generous donation of 420 Aussie dollars to say the factory must grow, the factory rats must multiply. Know that you are a cog in this machine and you can't get out of it. Remember that and never forget that you can never have too many bodies in a factory. Your body will build the tower to space. I mean, that's effectively what we might be going for. Um... <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it's going to be quite unique. Uh, one cooler guy, thank you very much for that stupidly generous donation. He is actually joining us tonight. Um, he is one of the speedrunners today. Um, in fact, he joined, I think he joined us for the first few Factorio streams we did like several years ago. So it should be quite interesting. Um, what is the world record? It is in the top left. The world record was set by this team and it is 59 minutes and 45 seconds. Actually, is that correct? I think I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's actually 49. Let me double check. I might be a smooth brain. Um, do 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 do. I mean, Connor will probably connect me in five sec. Uh, correct me in a second anyway. Um, it is 49 minutes and 45 seconds. There we go. I was wrong. Let me correct that. Do 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 do. So yes, this is the current speed run set by the people we're doing this with. They they in the practice in the practice. Well, basically in the practice to. What well, blah 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 English words. Um, in the practice before this stream, in preparation, they broke the world record. And this is the lowest time anyone has ever beaten Factorio, is 49 minutes and 45 seconds. Today, we're going to try and beat that. <clears throat> it's going to be incredible. Um, very, very jazzy indeed. So yes, um, the plan is... is I will, I will I'll try and explain what's going on for the first two runs. And then for the third run... All hell breaks loose. Everyone can join in. Not just the people that we've... The, the creme of the crop that we've skimmed off in my own community. No, everyone will be joining. Yes, it'll be amazing. Um, if, you're, if you're actually in this live, say hi in the live stream chat because it's wonderful. Um, joined exactly at the right time for this? Yes, you did. This is going to be one hell of an experience. Uh, very, very unique indeed. Now, I will show briefly the, the planned map. Um... Let me hide the game. So this is basically what we are constructing. And the way the speedrun works is a bunch of players spawning in as fast as possible need to lay out this blueprint as fast as possible. Theoretically, the sooner this is done, the faster we get to space, the fast... Oh my god, there's a lot of you. Jesus Christ. Um, uh, the, the, theoretically, the sooner this is done, the better. The the faster time we achieve. There are, of course, going to be bottlenecks. There's going to be um, there's going to be a lot of stuff limiting our ability to progress, uh, shenanigans, things like that. But it will be wonderful indeed, uh, truly wonderful. Uh, the sound there is someone running around lobbing grenades at the spawn pile. Um, once again. Um, it's completely fine. It's fine to lob bombs when you have... Yeah, yeah, it's... No, it's just fine to lob bombs. Don't don't clip that. It's it's fine. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. That's the plan. Um, and then when the live stream actually starts, I get to start my own timer because I'm a professional and I've actually set up the live split timer. I know. Amazing. Discord thought we were getting raided to unlock the server. Invite should work again. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, you can now um, you can now use the Discord invite link in the description. Um, <laughs> it should work. Uh, what did I just arrive? Um, well, well, what did you just arrive into? Welcome to a Factorio live stream. This is the lobby. Don't worry. Nothing is nothing has started yet. I will um, keep an eye and make sure. Uh, but yes, I do believe. Do 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 do. Um, that we should be relatively soon to start. Um, yes. So there are a few rules that basically this speedrun still must obey. Um, because even though it's a little bit of a chaotic speedrun, we're not allowed to use things like macros. So you can't just... Like, you could use blueprints, uh, but of course everything's getting manually placed. But you wouldn't be able to say have 700 human beings just have AIs control their keyboards and just optimally play Factorio. That's not allowed. Uh, so auto clicks and things like that can't be used. However, we don't really need macros when you just have enough bodies being thrown into the meat grinder. Um, that's, yeah, very fun. Hey Spiff, why are you so orange? I wasn't where I was particularly orange. I'm, I'm pink. Look at me, I'm wonderfully pink. Gloriously pink. What is the IP and stuff? Well, you'll just have to wait to be given the IP because I can't let the blebs in until the final game. But if you want, if you want to show your support for this glorious speedrun, then 
Do your part and like the stream now. You must do it. Do it. Look at me as I spin. I spin for success. I spin for you. The glory. The glory of the vibe. Why am I spinning? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Is Troopen playing? Yeah, Troopen's playing. He's joining us. He, he noticed that I was... Um, he noticed that I was here, basically. And um, I've just been run over. Uh, he noticed that I was playing Factorio, and he sent me a message being like, why are you playing Factorio? And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm speedrunning the game. And he's like, can I join? So, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's in the live stream chat. You can add him in the live stream chat. I'm sure that'll make him happy. He loves it when that kind of thing happens. Um, <laughs> but yes, this should be quite an interesting first run. Uh, they're currently basically just going through the briefings of all of the players at the moment. We are not going to be doing much in the way of helping. Um, I might add a singular a singular science speaker, but personally I believe in the true British fashion, my contribution to a world record attempt on a Factorio speedrun to go down in the annals of history should be to do literally nothing other than stand here and make noise. Uh, I believe that's that's the best benefit I can provide. One like equals one spin. Well, you guys are thousands of likes behind. Get on it, chat. Do it. You know what you have to do. Uh, we've also received another donation. <clears throat> Thank you, KB Gaming Beast, for twenty pounds to say first time I'm donating to someone, and uh, you are the only Chupa slash streamer I think deserves it. Always looking forward to your videos. Keep up the good working. Hope you beat the world record. Honest work for honest pay. Oh, thank you very much. That's a very generous donation. Very kind of you. Very kind, generous donation. Ah, how to join the server? You will, you, uh, Connor. Do you want to update the live stream description to explain that? Because that would probably make sense. Um, yes, that's probably a good idea. Why does YouTube keep changing the video quality to 480p? Because 480p is the premium way to observe a live stream. Of course, everyone knows that. Oh dear. But yes, I. I we should have quite an honestly mad. Um, live stream ahead of us tonight. It should be quite strange. RTD42, thank you for gifting memberships. That's very, very generous of you. And Mr. Gooey, thank you for donating $20 today. As an American, let me just say you're welcome for the tea bag. Imagine if Americans never invented it. Did the Americans invent the tea bag? I'm I don't think the Americans invented the tea bag. I I I'm gonna need a fact check on that one. Where's where's the Twitter community notes? No 4K option on the live stream? I only stream in 1080p, so what's the point? <laughs> 480p, the P stands for premium quality, guys. That's why, that's the YouTube live streaming way. Oh, dear. This is going to be quite unique indeed. Look at me spin. No more Skyrim. No, Skyrim will return. Unfortunately, Todd Howard broke all of the mods in Skyrim, so I have to wait for the devs to update them. Also, my internet until yesterday wasn't working. I had an upload speed of one megabit per second, which, as you can imagine, for someone who uploads regularly 500 gigabytes of video footage every day, it meant my life was pretty hellish. Um, for example, I recorded the next Marble World video, whereby we race all of the YouTube members and patrons against each other in Marble form. Um, it took me three days to upload the footage, uh, so that's finally in the editing pile. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was a hell of a race. I mean, I'm afraid if you became a member today, you don't get entry into the marble race. The winner's already been decided. It was a hell of a race. It was very good. Oh dear. Oh. Nathan Flynn saying, is the roof okay? Now, the roof is okay. It's fixed. It only cost me 10,000 British pounds to fix my roof. Um, well, we are on the spinning wheel. Jeez, um, <laughs> what a little vibey wheel. This is truly the beautiful form. And if I go into the outer wheel, do I get moved around? Yes, I do. Of course I do. Ah. Uh. Turpenstein donates five dollars. Say, keep up the great vids. You'll be spared when the U.S. finally conquers Britain for fun. I don't. I don't think the U.S. is likely to conquer Britain for fun anytime soon. I think the odds of that happening are relatively slim. I could be wrong though. I appreciate that in the lobby, the players are of course researching landmines. That's always a good sign. Very unique. Very good sign. Oh. 
Uh, Spiff, did you know that it was Portugal who brought over tea to Europe? That doesn't surprise me. Portugal was like the first to do everything in Asia. They, they were there way before the rest of the European powers were. <laughs> Those lovely Portuguese sausages. We can thank them for a lot of stuff. But yes, this is going to be the most incredible game of Factorio. And it's only going to happen once. We're never going to do this again, okay? So, grab your friends. Grab a, grab a nice warm cup of tea. Give the stream a like. And say in chat, I believe. Just say I believe, because then I know that you believe, and I can I can pass on your belief to the lovely people who actually have to do all of the work, um, and they'll know that there is someone out there believing in them. And then, of course, when it's your turn to join the server and attempt to go even faster than the pros can, well, then then you're just believing in yourself, and believing in yourself is the most important thing. Everyone knows that. Look at everyone in chat saying, I believe. Everyone believes. They believe. They believe. Now, what you don't know is you're actually saying, I believe, to um, the resurgence of the British Empire. And I will now screenshot this chat, say, here's all the people who want the British Empire to come back. And I will be, um, I'll be awarded a lot of money. That's right, because you've all just consensually decided to rejoin the Empire. Everyone is now exceedingly happy. This is exactly what they wanted to have happen. Glorious success for us all. Glorious, glorious success. Welcome back to the Empire, lovelies. But yes. Oh my goodness, we're almost at 2,000 likes on the stream. Do it, chat! You know you can. I believe in you. Each like does something wonderful on the YouTube algorithm. It, it genuinely does. It's quite silly. Quite, quite silly indeed. Um, I guess the only other important information I need to pass on is that when it comes to um, to the actual speed running um, of Factorio, in order to get the best time, you kind of have to exploit the world. And there's a few ways in which you can do this. One of them is to um, one of them is to, of course, uh, you know, fix the world in your favor. And so one of the ways that speedrunners do that is they disable the biters because they don't add anything other than potentially slowing down your game. So the biters have, of course, been uh, stopped. Oh, look at this man try and shoot me. What? How could he? How could you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating ideal. Um, but yes, the biters have been removed. Equally, uh, the the quantity of resources has been increased. This is done by the speedrunning community in order to try and set the best time possible. The only other thing they've done is, uh, I think they increased the quantity, well, they, they rolled the map seed over and over again until they found a seed that they liked. It's not the most optimal Factorio seed in the world, but it's it's about as good as you can get. So yeah, this is going to be very unique. Very, very unique. Um, could you add a, a, a different run info to the screen uh, so not as many people ask in chat? Yes, I can. Um, actually, it might make it difficult for the video edit. Yes, it will, Connor. Connor, you can just pin, the, you can just pin that in the live stream chat uh, if you want to explain the differences between the runs. That's probably a good idea. But yes, this is going to be a unique experience, ladies and gentlemen. Very unique indeed. Oh, damn! It's live. It is live. I know. Um, when are you go? When's the run going to start? They're just talking through their plans now um, because a lot of new people basically have to be inducted into how we speed run. So, whilst most of the well, I'd say about seventy percent of the runners for the first two runs are going to be people who have uh, who have done this regularly, and then about thirty percent are people who we've pulled from my community who are very experienced in the game now. When it comes to the final game we're doing, the third run, of course everyone can join that. All of you in the chat can join if you want. Uh, you can participate in what could be a world record, or could just be the most chaotic attempt at a world record the world has ever seen. I mean, the logic is that if you speedrun a game, right, the, and the, the game's goal is to build a rocket, the faster you can build the rocket, the better. And the more people that can work on building the rocket, surely the faster you can do it. Of course, there will be a bottleneck. I don't know where that bottleneck is. I imagine if we had 3,000 players and the game ran smoothly, it still wouldn't build the rocket any faster. I mean, maybe it actually would. We don't know until we try. 
we genuinely don't know. And today it's all about pushing the boundaries of human ingenuity with you, the wonderful people, to go even further beyond. Have I got like epidemic sounds, epic music that I could just put on to like, um, if I just type in even further beyond, is that just it, on epidemic sounds, does that even come up with anything amazing? Um, uh, what if I just search like battle? Ah, oh, yes, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we stand upon the precipice of greatness, of course. Don your culty robes and chant that the factory must grow. Dragon Shade, thank you for ten dollars. So when do the cult robes spiff, Grand Speaker of the Dark Tea Lord? Oh, you get them very shortly through the post when you work on this factory. Everyone knows you must wear loose-fitting robes when working in a factory so that you may be caught and absorbed into the machinery, thus becoming one with the factory. All hail the factory. Thank you, Freya Armstrong, for donating £10 to say finally catching a Spiffing Brit livestream. Watching back the Skyrim videos, they've been highly amusing so far. Babysitting, so what better way to spend my time while they're asleep. Freya, thank you very much for the incredibly generous donation. You don't need to be that generous, but thank you so much. Don't worry, the Skyrim streams will return. Ah, oh, there we go, the server's down. Okay. That means we must be going for the run. Let me quickly hide the game. And then I will load in to the actual correct run. Once again, the greatest run of all time. Cha 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 cha. Okay, the password is um is being provided shortly. Oh my goodness, this is going to be unique. <sighs> it's definitely going to be one of the games of all time. One of the games. Ladies and gentlemen, you best be ready. Prep yourself in the chat. This is it. The factory must grow. It must consume. Also, thank you very much to the person who gave five gifted memberships. I completely missed it. I apologize. <clears throat> right, is the server up? Oh wait, I need to probably click refresh, don't I? Okay, right, the password has been set up. I've discovered it. The server will be coming soon. And I'll be loaded in shortly. The factory must grow. Come on. Uh, I think I found it. Yep. Join game. Done it. I found the password. I'm loading in. Game footage is coming online now. Ladies and gentlemen, the factory must grow. Oh my god, this is gonna be good. Now it's the first practice run, so everything could go wrong, but that's why you have multiple. Right, and we're in. I guess the run is now live, so I'll start my timer. Away we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the, the game is afoot. Look at how many players there are. Look at the blueprints. Look at them grow. Oh my goodness. This is glorious. Right. Of course, I can do something to help here, which is I can dump my inventory, uh, if I remember correctly. Have I completely forgotten how to access my inventory? Oh yes, it's E, right. Where is the, um, if I remember correctly, there is a way to, here we go, store the uh, wreckage. Oh, I guess I can't really, can I? No point storing it there. Um, I will head up to the Spiffing Science, which is located up here, I think diagonally oh my goodness onwards we go <laughs> I mean we've, we're just effectively one minute in but already it's expanding as we can see here's the sign literally telling me to go this way along with the people assigned to my team um, in this group this is phenomenal Sandra T thank you for gifting five memberships that's very generous of you Oh, the factory must grow, just like the like count on this live stream. <laughs> what a natural plug. Right, I can help. I can cut down these trees. We don't need these trees where we're going. 
abominations of nature. They will not stand in my way. We can't possibly have that. Who knows, each tree I cut is potentially a microsecond shaved off of this game's time. <laughs> right, up we go. It's exactly what I wanted it to be and more. Anthony Stoner, thank you very much for donating $20. Say you're the kindest and most enjoyable creator. Your content always lifts my spirits. Hats off and teacups raised to you, good sir. Cheers from Kentucky, USA. Thank you, Anthony Stoner. I, it's a very, very kind message to receive. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so this is evidently a massive coal mine that's being constructed. Let me cut down this tree that's been marked for deconstruction and this one. They stand in the way of progress. Goodbye, trees. Oh my goodness, look at these people manually mining stone. Manually doing it. Oh, grow harder. There's a pill for that. Or so I've heard. <laughs> right, so currently, I do believe the science... Yes, Biff Science is meant to be set up around here. This is set up over here. How are these people doing? Jeez, look at how fast they're going. They've already got all of the stone furnaces built. Starting the production of coal plates. Burner mining drills set down. Stone furnaces over here. This is a power siphoning system. Oh my goodness. This is a nightmare. This is a lovely nightmare though. Right, let me go up here and help with uh, the, uh, the main, the main uh, work over here. Get spooky, thank you for gifting five gifted memberships. It's nice to have you back in the live stream chat. Hope you're doing good. All right, spiffing signs this way. Oh my goodness, they've laid down the uh, they've laid down the the thing. What can I construct? Ideally, I imagine we're going to need probably some burner inserters, maybe. I'll see what they need me to do. Could you please say Marcelia? Marcela? Mar Markella? Marcela. There you go. Someone in chat. I've just said exactly what what he wanted me to say. What's Troopin doing? I guess I'd go and find out. Let me also lo lower the epic music just a bit. Um, but yes, this is going to be quite incredible. The greatest game of Factorio anyone's ever played. Look at all of these. The furnaces. What do furnaces need again? Stone. All right, let me go find some stone. Where is stone? This is stone here, right? I can I can start making some stone, lay down some stone furnaces. I can help, chat. I can actually help. I'm not going to help with the second run, because that's the more professional run that might actually beat the world record. So, um, yeah. Let's get comfy. Zach Neal says you must delete Inigo's bow. I'm not ever deleting his bow. It's the only reason I might be able to win in the Skyrim game. That would be madness. Oh. Troopin is doing another live stream, so I've heard. So I've heard. Well, I'll take a look at his what he's actually doing in person. Using my own eyes on my own stream. Right, let me make free furnaces. Look, look at the amount of helping I'm doing. So much helping. Alright, do they need yeah, they're gonna need a burner drill there. So let me place a burner drill. Like so. There we go. I think that's set up correctly. No. <laughs> there we go. Look, I built two of them. I'm helping. Yay. I think you need coal. Yes, you do. Fantastic. Oh, I'm helping so much. Right, let me place down my, my stone furnaces to also help. Oh, I'm so good at this game. There we go. Right, now I just need more burner drills. What do burner drills need? They need stone and iron. I can get some more stone. I think the original June soundtrack would be phenomenal for this. I Are you talking about the June RTS game or the, the June film or TV series? Because unfortunately I don't hold the rights to the June IP or soundtrack. Whereas I do have access to, um, to Epidemic Sounds, which is highly more affordable. Ah, oh. right. I'll make uh, a few more. Let, let's actually have a check in on Troopin. 
I don't think Trooper's going to be over in my area. I get the feeling he'll probably be helping out one of the other teams. So the central hub over here. No, I don't see him in this mix. Do, 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 do. Is he running around here? Nope. Is he over in this section? Okay, so these people... Goodness, I have no idea what they're doing, but that's spicy. Bilbo Faggin... Uh, Bilbo Daggins is over here. What an incredible name. Along with... Who is this? Bucci92. Rolfi. Nat, Nate Woods. So many incredible people. Jesus Christ, look at how much they've already built. It takes me like... This takes me like two hours to build in Factorio. Building power. Like, I just... I just run off of boiler... Well, like, yeah, the burner drills. I don't need... I don't need this for ages, but no, look at them. I suppose you need electricity to make science, right? <laughs> don't say Ripford. I'm a, I accidentally stuttered over a word. It's fine. It's fine, chat. It's fine. Where's Troopin? It's a classical live streaming. Um... Wait, didn't you buy the, that copy of June to produce a TV series from it? No, unfortunately, I didn't buy the rights to June. I think I think the copyright holders might want more than I have access to in terms of funds. Um, yeah, I, I just get a sneaking suspicion that that's the case. Um, right, let me make place down some more. Do they need any more furnaces? Okay, no, they're actually fine on... Oh, no, we need more furnaces here. Right, I can do that. I can help with this. Oh, my goodness. There's so much work that can be done. Wait, we're already researching. What? Logistics is getting researched. Where? Where are we researching? Here. It's right here. Oh, my goodness. They've got it up and running. Oh. Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. Where where the bugs are? Well, here's the... F oh, we already got an achievement. Produce 10,000 electronic circuits. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, where the bugs are? There are no bugs. Because this is a speed run, uh, they, don't, they deliberately don't um, have the biters enabled. Because the way speedrunning works, you're allowed to change the settings in whatever way you like. Which means when you're speedrunning, you exploit the settings to be in your favor. Gamers have done this for every game in existence. We're talking like Mario and stuff. You could, you'll say deliberately run a botched version of the game so that you can get a slight edge on keyframes and things like that. So when it comes to Factorio, you mess with the settings in order to give you an advantage. And one of them is to run with max resources, no biters, and roll the seed until you get a good good run. It's kind of like Minecraft if you were able to like set up the seed perfectly ahead of time. Um, yeah, that's how it works. Alt mode? Alt mode? What, what do you mean alt mode? If I press alt. If I press alt, it adds... Oh, okay, right. There we go. That Done. Thank you, chat. Done. I've helped you. Look, it's been it's been a year since I've played Factorio. And Factorio is a game I have to avoid. I get very addicted to it. James Hudson donated £5 to say, you know you want to delete the bow in your deepest heart of hearts. I'm not deleting the bow. Also, chat, I've got, a, I've got a gift for you. So YouTube added a feature whereby I can actually gift memberships um, to my own channel um, for free. I can, gift, I can gift 10 of them per month. So as a gift for you, chat, if you can get to 300 likes on the live stream, I'll give out all of my memberships to you guys, okay? How's that sound? That's, that's a nice gift. You give me a gift, I give you a gift. It only seems fair. It does only seem fair. So there you go. <sighs> you know what you can do. Wow, 66% of people said that we would beat the world record on the first run. That is, I mean, according to it, we're approximately one-fifth of the way there. This is going to be unique. 3,000 likes and I will give you, I'll give you 10, I'll give you 10, oh no, I'll give you 5 memberships. I'll, I'll edge you, chat. 5 memberships for 3,000 likes only seems fair. It does seem fair. You only see 1,000. Oh, we'll just refresh the stream, chat. 
you never refresh the stream. When you do it artificially adds a concurrent viewer and it also glitches the YouTube backend again to say that you started watching the stream from the start, which increases the initial retention of the live stream, which generally gets it sent to more people. It's a very complicated thing. Basically the whole system of YouTube live streaming is very busted. Um, and we can do very basic stuff like this to edge it in our favor, so to speak. All right, mine the stone with my bare hands. Can I just steal the stone from the chest? Yes, I can. Right, let me make a bunch of furnaces. There we go. I'm helping. It just works. 3,150 likes achieved. Well, I'm a man of my word, chat. So, as a gift, do 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 do. Wait, can I not do it here? Okay, I've got to open up my own live stream. Give me a second. Do 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 do. Oh, I've just been sent an email about a, an exploit in City Skylines 2 that I've already known about for ages. Oh, it's the integer overflow exploit, if you didn't know, chat. Maybe you've messed around with it, but the game is incredibly busted at the moment. City Skylines 2 is, I can say, probably one of the most broken simulations in a in a city builder I've ever seen, which is quite impressive, because I played, I played, you know, Sims... I played basically every city builder. So, yeah, it's a little bit... A little bit cheesy. Where's my free gifted memberships? Okay, well, I can just say hi to myself with my own membership. I, I, I guess I can't do it on mobile. I have to do it on YouTube. Fine, let me do that. Which is quite... There we go. There's my own live stream that you hear. Do, 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 do. All right, time to give you, give you a little prezi. There we go. Gift five. There you go. Enjoy your gifts, chat. Enjoy your gifts. Alright, let me place down the furnaces. Where are more furnaces needed? Okay, we've got more needed over here. Wait, since when did we transition to dubstep? What is this? What is this music? I didn't subscribe to such young whippersnap music. No, 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 no. Not my jam. Um... I guess we can go for something like this. Just skip it. Much better. There you go. If you got a membership from me, enjoy. Thank you very much for the likes on the stream. They do help a lot because uh, YouTube's main way of gauging recommendations are based off of things like watch time, but also engagement. Engagement plays a huge factor and likes are one of the main ways YouTube measures engagement. The other way is just literally by spamming in chat a bunch of nonsense. One thing I did want to test, though, is even though YouTube said... Um, it's, it only gifts memberships if you have a, a tier beneath $5. I kind of want to see what happens if you went above that. Like if you went to say, your only membership tier was say £100. Would YouTube let me gift a £100 membership? That would be funny. I'd like it. I'd like that a lot. We. All right, let's see how we're doing. So we're, we're learning how to do logistic science packs. So green science is basically the next science. So it goes red science packs, green science packs, uh, then blue science packs, purple, and then we will eventually need yellow. Yellow science packs for building the rocket silo. Um, and then I don't think we need space sats. Yeah, we don't need space satellites, I don't think. We just need the rocket silo. But yeah, this is going relatively well so far. All right, let me make make some more little furnaces. Oh my god, we got a lot of stone. All right, I could just make a bunch of these. There we go, twenty two of them. <clears throat> oh, Clockwork Orbra says sadly not able to be a volunteer intern today. Have plans for later. Well, that's fine, Clockwork Orbra. It would have been lovely to have you on the final stream, but I hope your plans are very jazzy and you have a lovely evening. Um, and you still get to enjoy the stream whilst you're still around. Right, let me just lay down all of these. It was funny, uh, by the way, Clockwork Orbros, because your name appeared quite a lot in the marble video. Um, not saying if you won or not, but yes, I did have to say your name quite a few times. Another person whose name I kept having to say in the marble video was Mr. Beast. I put, I put in a Mr. Beast marble as a joke, and it did, it did astronomically too well, is how I describe it. Chat, can you stop spamming? Stop spamming the chat. Look, I I know it's... I know it's a... 
I know, I know it's fun, but stop spamming the chat. You don't need to spam the chat. Stop spamming it. Get Spooky said, did you get your roof fix? I did. Uh, it cost me a wonderful 10,000 British pound sterling uh, to fix my roof. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, now that the roof is fixed, it should not need to be fixed again for hopefully... Oh my god, produce 200,000 iron plates per hour. Yeah, it shouldn't need to be fixed for another like 10 years, but it was worthwhile. It was worthwhile. Look at me manually going around picking up like a pleb who's forgotten all the hotkeys. Yep, that's me. Chat, stop the spammer, I'll enable the slow mode. I'll, don't make me enable slow mode. You don't want me to. You know you don't want me to. Alright, let's try and find where our lovely friend Troopin is. So, this looks like, yeah, the red team The red team is over here. This is kind of like the, the unwashed masses with me. Um, Captain Malcolm Reynolds over here. So nice to have Malcolm Reynolds joining us. Um, the entire element of magnesium ov over here. Where the heck is Troopin? Jeez, he could be down here in this massive pile. There he is, he's over here. Here's Troopin. Uh, it looks like he is working on copper plates being turned into circuits, copper wires, and gears. Um, where are these going off to? This is all making steel. Okay, this appears to be making steel. Actually, I can take a look at the map, can't I? Let me take a look at the map. So Troopin, yeah, Troopin is over in Science Free and South Steel. Okay, so we've got two different groups making steel, basically. Quite interesting indeed. Um, and if I go over here, we've got... Here's Bilbo Teabaggins. There we go. Much easier to pronounce name. Splendid. Much, much easier for me. No way for me to stumble over that at all and look like an idiot. Right. Oh, here we go. Please no slow mode. Well, stop it, chat. Behave. You're doing a good job behaving, though. I am proud of you. I'm proud of you. Let me just keep running this way, laying it down. There we go. Splendid. Jeez, this is a big outline. Absolutely massive. All right, we're on the 18-minute mark. We completed the research of the fast inserter. Steel Axe is next. Anthony Stone says, You're the first and only creator I've sub slash super chatted to. You deserve it and more. I don't deserve it. You're just, you're an incredibly generous being. I, you don't need to donate to me. Uh, it's kind that you do. And so it's not a case of whether I deserve a donation or not. It's, uh, it's entirely about how, it's about you being a, a, generous, a generous sausage, I would say. But thank you very much. It's very kind of you. Thank you, Anthony Stone. Um, Clockwork Aubra says, I don't remember seeing a notice for a marble video. That's because it's not out yet. I recorded it, but it's currently being edited. Um, it takes us a while to edit videos. Marx is the one editing it. He edited the last one. And hopefully we should have it by... It should be ready for next week, is my plan. He doesn't even read chat, so how does he know? I read chat, Michael O'Neill. I read it. You can't stop me. Okay, we have... Okay, we're immediately researching the engine. Jeez, how fast are we researching? Can I go into the stats? Let me take a look at the um, production statistics. Okay, so if we take a look at... Jesus Christ. Okay, so if we look at the last hour, this is our iron ore production. We are producing 345k iron ore per hour. And we consume 333k per hour. This is insane. Oh my goodness. So we produce almost 6,000 iron ore per minute. And we produce almost 5.6 thousand plates per minute. Oh my, oh my. Wow, 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 wow. And yeah, we're currently consuming 7 science packs per minute. This is climbing. This is this is the main one you want to focus on. We want science packs uh, science packs to be growing the fastest. But this is wild. Absolutely wild. This is some of the most efficient factorioing I've ever seen. I mean, you can even just look, say, in the last minute and see graphs that are just growing. 
10 minutes especially is like quite a powerful one. Look at this. Look at the iron plate production just climbing to the stratosphere. Copper ore steadily climbing as well. Oh my goodness. And if we take a look at fluids, we can see that, yep, we, we're doing water, buildings wise. We don't really need to worry about that. Pollution and kills are disabled, so there's no point worrying about any of that nonsense. Jeez. The factory is growing. I mean, here's the thing. We have an hour. Basically, we need to hit this point, and this all needs to be even higher. Even higher. Four. Uh, hi, Smith. What happened to 100 Days Medieval Rimworld? It's still around, and I intend to continue it. The issue was the Skyrim live streams took over my life, and one day they will return. Until then, Skyrim live streams. Good stuff, but can you produce coffee in this majestic game? Of course you can't produce coffee in Factorio. Disgusting coffee. No, no, no. We don't need any of that nonsense. Oh, look at my lovely minions. They've set up the copper line. Look at this. Look at this. The electric mining drills churning out. They produce 0.5 ore per second. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, in total, this is producing 6 ore per second. Just here. It's of course, then gets fed over. Yeeted into various furnaces or whatever nonsense will have you. Actually, I think the copper ore is just going straight on somewhere. I have no idea. I haven't I haven't worked on this. I guess this needs to be set up to consume something that produces... Well, that requires copper. I would imagine. Don't hate coffee. Um, have you seen my video backlog? Hey, Smith, any videos about Valheim or Frostpunk in the pipeline? Frostpunk 2, definitely, I, I will want to cover at some point. But uh, Valheim was a maybe. I did appear in someone's Valheim video using some cheesy exploits. I was a low spec gamer. Um, but I have never made a Valheim video myself. Uh. Oh, someone's explained a YouTube live stream exploit in the chat. Yep, it's very silly. Um, if someone opens a stream, YouTube adds a view. If you can constantly refresh the stream, it adds lots of views in a very short amount of time, massively boosting engagement. It does do that. However, the optimal way is for you to wait 30 seconds. So if you refresh the page and then hold, keep watching the live stream for 30 seconds, because that adds a view, but it also adds a 100% viewer retention for the first 30 seconds, um, which is... I mean, I don't know if I'm allowed to say nonsense like this. I can't remember if, if it's against YouTube TOS, uh, but that's just purely educational, I'm saying that. Purely educational. I'm not saying you should do that. I'm just saying that that is what you can do. Um, and that is a thing that you can do. Yes. Any good exploits in the Jingle Jam collection? Um, Cat Quest is a great game to pe play with your partner. Um, so that's a way to exploit love and, love and happiness, I guess. Um... Strongly recommend Cat Quest. It's good fun. Alright, we don't need these little furnaces there. I guess, yeah, there's two furnaces needed down here. I can place these. One and two. Alright, is there anywhere else that needs furnaces in our area? Uh, up here, okay, up at the top. I can help with that. What happened to Skyrim? It looks different than I remember. Yeah, this is um, this is the new update that Todd Howard... Jesus Christ, look at the science factories go. Yeah, this is the new update Todd Howard added. Um, a Skyrim Extreme Extreme Edition. Uh, you now set up your own factory to, to fund weapons of mass destructions to take down the dragons. Look at this. I mean, it's almost a peak efficiency. There's a slight bottleneck on the red science packs I'm noticing. Like, you'll notice some of them are fading out. However, this is still pretty good. They have a research speed of... 50%, uh, 1.5, so they're getting a plus 50%. Where's that coming from? I don't know. I guess that's part of research. Got to be nature since I've played this game. Um, all right, let's go up here and finish off these these lines. What's our time looking at? 25 minutes. We're researching railway. Look at how fast we're researching railway. Look at the technology go. Jeez. Oh my goodness. And let's get all of this built. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, there we go. That's all down. 
Splendid stuff. Let's go grab some more stone. Let's take a look at these production statistics. Oh, there was a little drop off just then. I don't know what that was. Okay. 10 minutes. Okay, we're, we're producing a lot. Goodness gracious. What is this song? Every battle? I don't want that. Let's go for this. Splendid. There we go. Much better music. Ah. Look at this, my brave, brave warriors fighting tooth and nail for glorious success. Yes, here we go. Alright, so as we can see, we're producing 50 science packs per minute and 58 red science packs. We consume 34 and 37, which is nice. That's what we want to see, especially in comparison. Yeah, this is just... This is good. Although consumption has increased a lot. Look at that. So production needs to actually kind of scale up even more, if you can believe it. Um, that's that's going to be silly when it happens. Let's take a look at the rest of the factory. Have they finished building all of this down here? Okay, almost. They've got more assembly machines they need to build. I think Truppen was working on the steel down here. Steel is going well. Jeez. And then over here, Bilbo T. Baggins. This is a nightmare. What the hell is going on here? None of these... None of these have their science packs yet. Slow work on the bottom left team. Who's in that? That's Science 4. Okay, I guess... Yeah, they haven't even started producing the Science 4 packs, have they? <laughs> I don't even think they've been unlocked. So, yeah, that makes sense. One cool guy. Here he is. He's helping out in the central section. Um, which section of the map is this? That is Science 1. Where... One cool guy is located. Very impressive indeed. Very impressive. This isn't good battle music. Let's go genres action. There we go, much better. Or is there just like a, a gaming? Is there like a, just an elite gaming? Action gaming. Oh yeah. Gaming music. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, we're actually doing pretty good. Spiffing science is going well up here. We even have time to lay out pavement to just say how good it's going. Thank you, Marcus Person, for donating 10 gifted memberships. That's very, very kind of you. We now produce 1,000 advanced circuits per hour. Holy moly. That's a lot. That is a lot. Quite a lot indeed. Marcus MVP, he is indeed. Hoy music? This isn't hoy music. Half the time is past. I mean, it's it's kind of there. Now it sounds like an, uh, an IGIO stream. Oh, let's game it out stream. Oh, okay. Does he listen to does he listen to this kind of music? I can't say this is my kind of music. However, I do want to. There is one weird genre of music that I always find funny. Not because I like it, but because I find it very funny. Which is, um, I think this, is this, is this what I'm looking for? Or is it this? I think this. Oh, this is it. It's a song literally just called Riz. Oh, this is the Factorio soundtrack. Look at the production graphs! Oh, the factory! Numbers! Consumption! Oh, yes! Look at this! Oh, it's, it's Funkin' Factory time! Oh, the Riz. I, I can't believe the song is actually just called Riz. It's such a dumb name for a song. <laughs> Riz. Oh, dear. The youth of tomorrow. How they are. How they are to be corrupted. Uh, but I cannot save them. They can only save themselves by liking and subscribing. <laughs> right, I think that is actually all of the furnaces constructed now.
That's my job done, my one job of helping. And look at the production that this has led to. Increase of copper plating. Um, if we take a look at probably like the last minute, we can probably see, okay, no copper plate production shrunk. Well, we added more, okay. This is probably like one of these bumps are us. We've probably added another thousand copper plate production. Jeez, look at this chemical science pack production. F yeah, we were producing none just five minutes ago, and now we're producing 300 a, mi a minute. Actually, no, sorry, we're producing 300 an hour. So 300 every 10 minutes, which is 90 per minute. This is wild. Like, these statistics are nonsensical. Absolutely nonsensical. Like, that is just such an extreme statistic. Absolutely maddening. Oh my goodness. Just so many people. Alright. Let's close down this and... Um, oh, look at this. Troopin, if you keep slacking on the job, you won't meet the quota. Troopin is slacking, ladies and gentlemen. We have no room for slackers in the factory. If I... What is it? This? Yes, it's this to speak in chat. Troopin, we have... No room for slackers in this factory. Slackers get sent to the mines. Very good indeed. <laughs> right, I think our like our little setup is almost complete. We need a few more electric mining drills up here to get even more iron ore into the belt network. Jeez, to produce um, steel, I do believe. Yeah, we're making some more steel up here. This is maddening. Absolutely maddening. My goodness. Where's that trooper at? He was down here. He genuinely might be slacking. Here is uh, where the... Uh, yeah, here is where the rocket silo goes. So, eventually we need... A bunch of... Yeah, this, this is just going to get spammed out quite rapidly. Jeez, they've got to make a lot of stuff for it, though. This is kind of insane. Look at the pace on this. Just look at it. This thing has already made 171 products. What... This is just amazing. Absolutely wonderful to see. Endless production. Has this thing built anything? Products finish zero. Item insufficient storage. Oh, has it not got somewhere to put it in? Hmm. Potentially if... Oh, it, it needs these long-handed inserters to bring in these belts. Okay, well, that's for someone else to put down. I'm not the person doing that. Oh, okay. But how are we doing in terms of research? We're researching lab speed free. This increases lab research speed by 40%. Okay. And then after that, it's rocket fuel productivity module, effect transmission, and then productivity module, and then rocket control unit. Jeez. This is um This is quite the quite the endless tree, isn't it? Let me go find um All right, so here's battery. And then battery eventually gets us to space science pack, which Actually, wait, we don't need that. We need this one, right? Here we go. Rocket silo. So here is rocket silo. In order to do rocket silo, we have to research how many more technologies? One, two, three, four, five. We are only five technologies. Well, six, I guess, as well. We are hardly any technologies away from just completing it. That's madness. Absolutely madness. We require the link to the Riz song. It's Epidemic Sounds and it's called Riz. There's another one by the same person. It, the person's name is called Cushy and it's called Driftin. So we can listen to Driftin. Oh! Oh! Me, me, and, the, me and the lads. Driftin. Driftin around the factory. <laughs> grinding. Grinding nine to five. Making steel, making cogs, electric circuits in my veins. 
electric circuits in my brains. You ain't got no riz. I'm on this shiz. Yes, going to space with my bros. We don't need any of yo hoes. Oh, space factory expansion. Riz, what a vibe. You can't stop me when I'm in my jive. I thrive as I expand my factory powers are sublime. Oh yes, I can of course definitely sing. I'm a professional. <laughs> Great rhymes, thank you. <laughs> ah, unstoppable. Unoptimal. What a life. <laughs> I'll stop there for the moment. How many players? Um, I think we have. Do, 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 do. There's no way for me to exactly know, but actually, I can check the Discord and I can see how many people are in the voice chat. Oh my god, over a hundred. Um, so in this run, it appears we have we have over um, yeah, we have over a hundred players on the server currently. That is crazy. Very, very, very silly. Oh my goodness. Drake wants a word with you? Oh, was that too good? Was that too good? Um, a little spiffing rap. I know, I know. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Chat, I've got another wonderful offer for you. We've got 12 minutes to beat the game. I think we could do it. I'm going to walk down to the rocket silo. Um... I mean, this is the practice run, right? So this is the one where it's okay if we don't... Well, this is one of three runs that we're doing tonight. So if we don't get it on this one, that's fine. Um, we can probably double that with more. Get Spooky donates uh, $10 to say, Spiff, when are you going to release your hit single? Um, never. <laughs> I'm too I'm too good at, at the rizzing, you see. Hey, Spiff, could you exploit Fruity Loop Studio, make a song, and cheese a song about T to hit UK number one in the charts? I mean, there are a few ways to, like, glitch Spotify and get way more listens than you should, but you have to remember that, like, a listen on Spotify is a micro cent. It's not even, it's not even, like, justifiably monetizable. Um, so, yeah, probably never. But maybe. You never know. Have you ever thought about getting a VTuber model? Uh, yes, yeah, we actually had one made, but I just don't. It's it's not for me. It's not for me. I think it's better. Um, it's better that I don't have that. Uh, spiffing Brit uh, straight out of Croydon. <laughs> okay, so fun fact chat. I was once on a a night out in Brighton, and I was accosted by some some youths, so to speak. Um, male male people in their 20s and they 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 said oh you you want to fight mate um i think they they asked me where my dealer was which unfortunately a i don't have a dealer except a dealer in fine charcuteries um and uh i'm also new to brighton so how am i meant to know where the local charcuterie dealer is um <laughs> And yes, and, and then when I was like, no, no, I have no idea about any of that. They were like, mate, you starting on me. I'm from Croydon. It's like, well, it's nice to know where you're from, friend. But I, I can't, that, that doesn't change whether I know or do not know where the local charcuterie dealer is. Uh, I mean, I, you know, I did survive that encounter. Um, maybe I wouldn't have been so lucky if I, I wasn't looking quite so dapper and lovable. Um <laughs> <laughs> but yes, thank you very much. We're almost at 4,000 likes on the stream. You know what, chat? I'll give you another splendid offer. If we can hit 4,500 likes, I'll gift out another five memberships just for you. Troopin just shot me! Troopin shot me! The bastard! Speaking of this swooty Troopin, I'm coming for that booty! Come back to me! Yes, 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 yes. How could you? That hurt me. Evil troopin. Oh, I'm spinning. How am I spinning? I guess I will never learn how to rotate. Oh, I said that hurt me. God, my dyslexia is on full swing today. I just said that. I was trying to say that hurt me. 
Oh dear, off to the mines. Off to the mines. <laughs> splendid, splendid recognition chat. Off to the mines. Oh, they're doing the cargo wagon exploit. Okay, so fun fact, the most optimal way to move storage is with a bunch of cargo wagons, as opposed to actually using storage chests. There you go, some fun facts. Oh, here comes a train. Here comes a train. It hasn't got anything on it, except maybe some of this stuff. Do I want to get killed by the train? Kind of. Oh, okay, I'm going to stand here so I get killed by the train next time it comes. It's part of the joy. Smith has no heart. Freudian slip. Um, oh my god, look at the trains arriving now. They are fast. Whoa, they are fast. I guess other trains will be arriving too, so maybe I could just stand on the track and get plowed down. I'm going to stand on this one. All right, so we're researching rocket silo. 42 minutes to g is on the clock. This is close. I, we can take a look at achievements. We've earned 38... Oh, here comes the train. Yay, I died! <laughs> Get killed by a moving locomotive. Achievement unlocked! Yes, 4,000 likes. Well, we just need 500 more likes, and then I will give you what you crave. Where did I spawn in? Okay, I'm over here. Quick, quick, we, we might... We're almost at the time when we might go to space. This is going to be close. Rocket Silo Research. I know, it's going... It's going fast, 30%. Like, how how many science packs does it need? 1,000 science packs, each taking 60 seconds. Yeah. It's going to be real close. Here come the trains. Someone's saying, where can I help? I mean, it's a bit bloody late for that. I think this final section can pretty much only be done by the, uh, the pros. Need help at RCU? Who knows what RCU is? Okay, look at these people building beacons. Beacons, okay, beacons. Tasty, tasty beacons. I'm just going to stand here where I don't think I'm in the way and watch this nonsense unfold. Here we go. Rocket silo has almost been researched. Need to leave after this first run. Good luck. Thank you, Mort. Thank you. Did Spiff just sing? I'm like a bird. Um, I've done a great job. Yes, Mango, you've... You've done that. Oh, have a train plan a path of 1,000 tiles or longer. We're getting all of the achievements tonight, guys. Jeez. It's going to be slower, but there's a good chance for run two. Okay, well, it's going to be close. It's going to be a close one, in the very least. 43 minutes. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's check out what research... So this is literally the final bit of research. We don't have anything else after this. We've already grabbed the rocket control unit. We've grabbed all of these other techs. Very speedy indeed. Very speedy. Let's take a look at our product, our production. If we take a look at the full hour... Jeez, look at the copper... Is this the copper... Yeah, the copper wire graph has just exploded into first place. Wow. And science packs as well. We're making 28 of those per minute. Four. It's going to be close. Science is ticking up super fast. I'll take a look at the production graphs for science. So I want science. Let's get all the sciences. All of the sciences. So these are all of the science packs. Take a look at the last hour. Yeah, we can see the rapid rise in all of them. Of course, uh, automated science packs and logistic science packs less less required uh, towards the end of the game, and so you pivot away from them. But you basically want to be producing 200 of everything because that's how much you need to go into this. I think right, because it's five divided by yeah, 1,000 divided by five is 200. So you need 200 of each. I'm pretty sure, or is it 1,000 of all of them? If that's the case, bloody heck, that's complicated. Oh, those graphs make me want to riz, I know, right? Let's let's get some final music going. Ethereal, let's get some ethereal, ethereal music. Uh, I'm just gonna search. Angelic battle. Here we go. Oh, no, actually, this should be better. Right, ladies and gentlemen. 
We've completed the final research we needed to do. Consequently, the research has been sent into a spirally mess. Everyone is spinning and jiving. Spinning and jiving for the future we desire. They are building the massive silo. Look as they spin. They spin so fast. We're doing it. We're doing splendid. Absolutely splendidly. In comes another train. Who knows what it's supplying. It's supplying the blue circuits. 46 minutes. We're doing very nicely. Oh my goodness. Around we go. Look as they build their rocket control units. The silo's been built. Silo has been built. It's been constructed, ladies and gentlemen. We spin. We spin for success. We can do this. There is... I don't know. This is going to be close. I think it's relatively unlikely. Very, very close. Oh my goodness. Round and round and round we go. Come on. There's really not much time. There's about... We've got literally just two minutes, I think. Where the hell... Where the fuck is the silo? Um... I think... The silo is gone. Well, fuck that run. Oh... Balls. Oh well. Um... That's pretty bad. Uh, well, they found out exactly who it was. So, unfortunately, they get banned from every community in the universe. But that's really... What a shame. What a shame. 48-42. Mm, yeah, it's unlikely we're going to get it done in time. Potentially. Yeah, because of the crafting speed. I mean, it needs more, but its crafting speed is really high. Stuff is manually going in. It It's going to be close. 45 seconds. 25 out of 100. Okay, yeah, literally the bottleneck here is assembly machines. I don't actually think the grief is going to make a difference there. Because we still need more... We still need more rocket control units. That's the bottleneck we're facing here. So I don't think that's going to make the difference. And there we go. Oh, yeah, we're definitely not going to be able to do this in time. Yeah, we definitely can't complete this in time. Come on. Come on, game. Oh, no. We lost. Yeah, we lost. Rip Troopin. Rip. An F in the chat for the failure of the first run. Uh, there will, of course, be a second run after this. I mean, we'll still get the rocket out. Don't worry, we still get to enjoy that. But this first run has been a failure. The second run uh, will hopefully be more of a success. Um, because that is the main goal, is the successful first run. Damn. Oh, the silo got mined at, like, 50% progress. I see. Damn it, so we're at 50% progress. God, we probably... We probably would have been able to do it. Oh my god. It was at 50% progress. Jeez. Damn, that's really sad. That's genuinely... Oh my god. That probably would have been a... Um, that probably would have been a world record there. Fuck. Damn, chat. Oh, that's so upsetting. Okay, well, I think they know who it was. Um, 
Uh, I'm lost, Connor. Let me get off caps. Do they know who griefed? Oh dear, what a shame. Well, I think we might still be building the rocket anyway. Okay, no. Not anymore. Oh, damn it. Well, there goes the first run. We'll have to do a second run. We can't... Uh, we can do this. Let's go. Of course. Of course. We'll do it better on the second run anyway. Our time was quite close to the first run there, but definitely we can do better on the second. I'll uh, stop the timer here, um, despite the fact that we technically haven't gone off to space. Because, you know, we would have done, unfortunately. Oh, damn. Okay, they think they already know, but they need to check. Okay, so that's fine. So they're pretty sure they know who griefed it, but they have to check on it. Oh, that's upsetting, guys. Oh, they're checking the replay. Ah. Oh. Okay, well, that's good. They can just check the replay for it. Okay, they, they think they found the person, they've banned them. Splendid. How to join? Well, you can't join for the first run, but you can definitely join for the second run. Um, second run should be public. Info. Ban them from the channel too? I don't think they're, I don't think they're a member of this channel. Um, so I don't think I can. Let me double check. No, they're definitely not in... Um, they're not in this chat, I don't think. Oh well, oh well, it is what it is. We got quite close though, nice and close indeed. Uh, I mean, there's only one more thing I, I guess I have to say to this team, which is that, I mean, the grief did not help, but really, it was Troopen that stopped us. <laughs> oh dear. The good news is run one always sucks. Honestly, that, that run went surprisingly well. I'm pretty happy with that. Andy Park says, Spiff, did your Skyrim install survive the update? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, yeah. I guess there's one way to find out. But yeah, don't worry. We still get another run of this, so we should be fine. Um, Troopin should take responsibility for your inaction. Exactly. Exactly. Oh dear. Also, thank you very much for almost 4,500 likes on the stream. That's very generous. Very, very, very generous. Very kind. Oh, Silo found an inventory. Player's been banned. Cool. Easy peasy. Nice and simple. I don't know if it was the person who people were saying in chat. It, it's entirely possible it wasn't. Um, but yes. Oh, and now I'm getting called by, killed by one cool guy. Do it. Do it. I dare you. Do it. Do it, you Australian didgeridoo. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> that was still a very successful run. Very, very happy with that. I think um, the production graphs are kind of ridiculous. Oh, dear, I've been killed. No production graphs for me. But can I not look at I can't look at production graphs when I'm dead? How is that fair? How many players are here? 162 players in the server. Jeez. That's a lot of players. Okay, so if we take a look at um the 10 hour graph, here is the 1000 hour graph and the 250 hour graph because you know people genuinely spend 1000 hours in the game. Um yeah, the one hour graph, looking okay, looking pretty good. I've been murdered again. By demonic laxatives, that's one hell of a name. Jeez. 162 players is kind of wild though. A very wild indeed. Uh, so yeah, basically now they just need to set up for the, uh, the second run. Um, I guess we will hear what the... Well no, actually I guess we won't hear what the final time was because there won't be a final time. Unless they've decided to keep building the rocket anyway. Yeah, it looks like that is the case. Yeah, I guess we they wanna they wanna build it anyway. We can get the achievement. 
what's the password I want to join? The, the, the third game is public. The second game that we're about to head into. Basically, this first game is a practice game, right? And then the second game is the actual run. And then the final game is about to be upon us. Um, yes, which is what... Well, not the final game. The, the second game is the official pro run, I would say. This is the one that they basically practice for. Um, yeah. It's going to be a good one. Right, okay. I will give Connor a quick call, I think. Um, and we can have a chat about it. Do 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 do. Let's just have a quick, quick vibe with Connor. It's been a while since we've chatted with him, and he can fill us in on how that went in comparison to what they were expecting. Yeah. Hello, 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 Connor. Connor, hello. Oh, I can hear you. There we go, splendid, lovely. It's like a Zoom call with your granddad. Um, <laughs> how uh, how did that go in compare? I mean, of course, yes, we didn't technically finish it, but were we relatively on pace in terms of uh, the previous runs? For, for a re first run, normally the first runs are like two or three minutes slower, and that would have been really bloody close. Oh, that's a shame. That was very close. God, look at why there among us is everywhere. <laughs> I needed to sign. Um, but yeah, that was that was still a really good run. I very much enjoyed it. I was quite jazzed. Yeah, I, I, it, it's very possible the second run is going to be a world record. I would be very much looking forward to that. I think, um, I think it's definitely like I. It's it's funny feeling like a cog in the machine, right? Because basically all I did was I placed seventy stone furnaces down that game, <laughs> and. Realistically, that probably provided 0 0.001% of the the output towards the goal, I would say. Um, so it's great to feel like a cog in the machine. Uh, were you also on the server, or are you literally just like spectating the whole thing from afar? I'm just spectating from afar. Oh. If we get close, I might join now, so that I get my name on the, on the Oh, so you get your name on the world record? <laughs> <laughs> you cheeky fucker! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's the way to do it. That really is. Um, so what I'm going to do, Connor, is I'm going to quickly nip nip, uh, and have a quick break. Are yep. you able to entertain my live stream chat for like a minute and just explain how this setup goes, how this entire thing came to be about? I'll leave the plan up on screen as well. Um, yeah, so that way, that way, yes, you can just explain the nonsense for a bit. Is that fine? Yeah, that's fine. Fantastic. I'll be back in a bit, guys. Enjoy speaking to Connor. Don't no. don't don't tell them about the the mines, okay? That we force you into, okay? Just remember that. Right. Anyway, see you in a bit. Everyone here are volunteers. I promise. Nobody was forced. <laughs> yeah, there's somebody contacted us a few months ago. Now it was probably like maybe August. It was a long, long time ago, and it took a while for us to to organise it. And a few months ago, somebody. Uh, well, I put an announcement out to recruit a whole bunch of people. And so we got like maybe 100 people in. And then we completely destroyed the, the world record that was existing because we almost doubled the player count as their normal, the normal speedrunning people. And then, no, you weren't forced. Stop lying. I'm not forced either. I'm here out of my own free will. I'm not winking right now. I do have a, a T on my desk, though. So, take that how you will. <laughs> but um, our, our goal is to try and get as many people into the third one as possible. So stay around for the third one. Because, like Swift said, he was only doing 0.01%. But if we have 500 people, 0.1% is going to make a big difference over that many people. But the, the pro speedrunners are crazy. They're so, so fast. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm blinking constantly. It's not just twice. <laughs> and the funny thing is, I'm not even in the server. <laughs> I should be the one who's in the server. 
I'm not going to say that. I'd never say that. I'm talking about you. In chat. That one there. Him. Or her. That one that's going up right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, w I would probably say I've been indoctrinated at this point. The amount of uh, Yorkshire tea that I've been gifted from Spiff. Even if I didn't like it, I'd probably like it by now. Uh, the strategy is just build as fast as possible. Oh, bulls. Okay, so everybody's going to need to do at least 0.2% so we get to 100%, because otherwise we're going to be way too slow. 50%? <laughs> we need to be at 110%. Mathematically impossible. But we need to do it somehow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So everybody can join the third, the third game. This is we're on, we're on game number two. The first one was the practice run when we we were so nearly a world record. That was a really fast first run. Second one is now the proper run. So hopefully, th if there's going to be one that we world record, this will be the one that we world record. It's the highest likelihood because there's diminishing returns and then you get to the point where you have too many people and it may end up slowing. I mean, we may be faster, but there's also more people to grief and also more people trying to mine the same thing. So you may end up tripping over each other's like ankles, basically. No, not restarted yet. I think they're probably going to do a bit of a deconstruction of the first one. Figure out what, what slowed us down. Well, obviously the grief will slow us down, but <laughs> outside of that, because like Smith said at the end, I can't remember what it was, but there was something that was slowing down the run. Uh, so if they can try and build... Like, I remember when we did the world record run, power actually was not keeping up. So that slowed us down. The world record could, is definitely, can be faster. But you just need to figure out what the bottlenecks are and fix them. Like, uh, we have the whole new spiffing power and spiffing science. Uh, because there's so many people in that there's, there would be too many people trying to build the same thing. It ends up being slow. Yeah, three times. Well, it was it was 89 players, so we're about double the players. So if you can't be faster with double the players, then you... I don't know if we're going to be faster with five times the players, because there is very much diminishing returns. Uh, <laughs> that's basically what I did, Corin, when I joined. I what joined, started running around. Well, when I joined, you know, when um, when we did the, the actual world record run, I joined, yeah. ran around, tried to do things, and then realized I have no idea how to play this game <laughs> yeah. well enough to actually help. <laughs> yeah, the problem is, like, for me as a Factorio player, I really like building the initial factory, and then I stop, right? And I just, <laughs> I stop playing the game. Um, unfortunately, that's not available. Um, yeah. It's... Uh, yeah. It's yeah, it's it's gonna be fine though. So uh, yeah, I just nipped to go see Mango. She's she like Mango is in full time Christmas. Uh, I I would describe the Christmas wife mode. Um, so she she's been baking bread uh, in the shape of a Christmas tree. Uh, it's actually really cute, and she's just made me a bunch of mold cider, which I'm quite interested by. Um, oh, looks like the next server is almost ready. Oh yeah, so someone said uh, you've got to have somebody delegating tasks to do, like how many mining ores, how many building. That that is there, there's a website basically that you go to and it assigns you something to do. So that when we do the third run, we we will show that we will share that website with you. You'll get assigned somewhere to go before you join the join the speed run. There you go. That's I, I definitely took all of that in. Um... <laughs> Factorio blah 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 join blah 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 speed run blah blah speed run Thank you very much Frango Ooh Oh it smells good 
Oh, it does smell nice. Thank you very much, Mango. Chat, please say thank you for Mango. Um, thank you, Mango. Uh, I'm being chat. <laughs> I'm fine for... Uh, yeah, I'm good for drinks with this. Thank you. But yeah, when the bread's ready, I'd love to have the bread. Thank you. I'll be back in a moment. We... Okay, Mango's like, drink it. I want to see what it tastes like. But it's currently boiling hot, so... <laughs> Mmm. Tastes lovely as it scolds my lip. No, it's actually p good temperature. That's really nice. Oh, good job, Mango. Thank you for Mango. Thank you for Mango. Yeah, I, I thank the world for Mango. God, I just thought of something really weird. Imagine if, like... Wait, the run's live. Is the run live? Shit. Yeah. Well, fuck. Uh, uh... <laughs> I'm finding it. I'm finding it. Okay, there we go. Found it. Join game. Got to remember what the password is. One second. There's always a slight delay. Okay. That's the password. Cool. Got the password. Loading in. Loading in. Chat. Get ready. I mean, if the run's live, I might as well start my own speedrun, right? Away we go. There is, there is someone who is actually an official timekeeper of this, right? Um, yes. It, it's, well, no, I'm just saying that like out loud, Connor. Don't worry, I know they exist. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so yeah, it's not. A, I my time is purely for my own reference, right, chat? This is going to be great. Um, my I goodness. think they have to go back and look at the vod anyway. Like, e e no matter who is doing it, they yeah, don't yeah. take that time anyway. Yeah, they have to measure the vod themselves. I mean, we yeah. tried to upload a speed run once before. And it just it just wasn't possible. Uh, it was a cookie clicker speed run. I think we'd have only been like top six in the world in a category run by only you know ten people. So it's hardly worthwhile for us to try and do it properly. Um, but yes, this has been this is going to be hopefully the world record time, ladies and gentlemen. What you have just sat yourselves down for is going to be the speed run of Factorio, and as promised. As soon as we get 4.5k likes on the stream, I'll gift out 10 mem well, five memberships. Connor, did you see that YouTube now lets me give out free memberships? No. Oh, yeah. yes, I did. Yes. Yeah, I get 10 memberships per month. That like that's literally YouTube handing me 50 pounds for free each month. I for no reason. I I there is no justifiable reason. Um, but yeah. It's good fun. I guess it's just off. If you're going to be gifting them anyway, then it just doesn't really make much of a difference who's doing it. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Whether really. it's them or you. We. Uh, the thing is, I think it goes to literally everyone who is a streamer, right? Who has the YouTube partnership. So part of me is wondering, what if we just, what if we. What if we make a bunch of channels, Connor? Okay, I'm just I'm just spitballing, right? What if we set up a hundred YouTube channels, used our audience to get all of them to the partnership tier, and then just endlessly gifted out our own memberships over and over again? Yeah. Wouldn't that just be funny? Wouldn't that be such a good idea? Chat? Is Wouldn't there, that be a fun a world idea? record on how many channels one person has got partnered? Um, there is a record for the person who holds the most play buttons. It's, um, God, what's his name? Uh, the, the play button YouTuber, um, who lives in the UK, uh, who did stuff with Mr. Beast play buttons. I think he has the most channels eligible of a play button out of everyone. Um, really? Yeah. Is that because he uses them to do whatever he does with them? So he yeah. needs to have loads of... He does videos where he exploits the YouTube, um like a uh, play button system the problem is exploiting the youtube play button system basically meant telling someone hello um i i'm part of this channel i need this uh this play button for my editors and they go of course no problem it'll cost x amount of money and then they give you it there, there's no checks in place but after he put out his videos i now have to jump through several hoops because i've been trying to get play buttons for all of my all of my employees like connor here and yeah uh not happened thanks <laughs> yeah soon though soon it's like getting uh your oscars everybody's like oh you won your oscar and then you have to pay like five grand to actually get the trophy so not everybody who's won an oscar actually has an oscar yeah yeah that's true 
You've got to have the physical one. Uh, Jack sucks at life. Yeah, that's the guy. That's the guy. Um, ah, Mr. Beast does yes. have quite a few channels, but I don't think he technically has enough. I mean, I know he had a lot of separate language channels before he merged them all into one giant orb of channels. Channeled the channel. Anyway, um, we hit 4.5k likes on the live stream, which means yeah. my other 10 five gifted memberships get to go out. Woo, membership gifting. Gift five now. Yay, there you go. We free money. What a lovely thing indeed. Oh, right, let me... Um, actually, Connor, I don't think I should help with the speedrun for this one. Jack, okay. can you agree? Can you agree that I shouldn't help with the speedrun? I think this should... I should get a world record without doing anything, kind of like you. Um... <laughs> I say kind of like you, you helped organize all of this. All I did was turned up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Okay, chat agrees. Yes, no help. Yes, 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 no help. Fantastic. Nice. I've always wanted yes. to be a glory right. third stealer. Game everybody can join. Yeah, yeah, third game everyone, everyone's in. Um... So then it really will be chat. Yeah, it'll be... I mean, currently, what? I think someone said we had 162 players in the first run. So we'll probably have 161 players in this run. Although, actually, sometimes there's more players in the second run, I heard, because some people can't make it for the first run. Yeah, so the reason, that this, the reason that this started so late is that there's another game that goes on on Saturday... <clears throat> sorry, Saturday afternoons that is like a um, base v base thing. So when that ends, a whole bunch of d new people come in. So quite often that runs late because it basically just depends how, lo how like how long it takes, how long it takes. So normally there's more people in the second run. So that also makes it faster because there's a whole bunch of new experienced players as well. They've asked me to do a speech, but they've forgotten that I'm dyslexic. Um... <laughs> Let, uh, so I've said you're doing great. Let us make history together. Um, oh wait, actually, can, Connor, have you got like Chat GPT up or something? Can you can you get it to write an inspiring speech about motivating workers in a factory? Okay. <laughs> I don't have access to any of the AI stuff, um, but this is the time for it. Um, and then we just tell them that I made this as a um, uh, as an incredible man, right? Let me. Let me also type in speech music. Is this good speech music? Talks and speeches, here we go. Oh, some of these are good. Okay, no, that's bad. How about this one? Oh, this is brilliant. It's okay, I found a song that sounds exactly like an annoying inspirational advert. It's exactly what I want. Oh, Y'all do this regularly? Um, the speedrunning community do this regularly. Uh, we do it semi-regularly. Um, yeah. Spiff, we yearn for the mines. <laughs> uh, of course they yearn for the mines. Who doesn't yearn for the mines? We all yearn for the mines. Right, let's take a look at the production graph. So if we reset it... Oh my god, it just goes, doesn't it? It really does just go. Four. Jeez. Seven minutes in. 39k iron ore 40k iron ore made in made so far that's a lot of iron ore plagiarizing an ai well the, the ai is plagiarizing other people so <laughs> it's just a giant plagiarism circle at the end of the day nothing is original i'm afraid this is attempt number three yet yeah, nope this is attempt number two you can see the results of our first attempt at the top it was 51 minutes and 36 seconds um how is the generation gone oh my goodness here we go <clears throat> i don't think i can put this in the text chat but i can definitely read it out on stream <laughs> here we go ladies and gentlemen i stand before you today not just as a speaker but as a fellow member of this incredible team that makes our factory thrive 
each one of you plays a crucial role in the success of our operations, and I am here to inspire and remind you of the remarkable impact you have on our collective journey. In this vast buzzing hive of industry, it's easy to lose sight of the significance of our individual contributions. You might be operating a machine, managing inventory, or ensuring quality control. And sometimes it might feel like what you do is part of is a small part of the whole. But let me assure you, every gear in this well-oiled machine counts, and you are no exception. Our factory is not merely a place of production, it is a symbol of determination hard work and collaboration. Each product that leaves our doors carries a piece of your dedication and expertise. We're not just producing goods, we're crafting excellence. And you are the artisans of this success story. It is essential to recognize that challenges are inevitable. We may face set lines. In the face of adversity, we stand tall, united as a team. Remember, every problem is an opportunity for innovation and every obstacle is a chance to showcase our resilience. I urge you to embrace a sense of ownership. This factory is not just a workplace, it is your second home. Treat it with the care and respect it deserves. Your ideas, suggestions, and feedback matter. We encourage an environment where each voice is heard, fostering a culture of continuous improvement as we move forward, let us not forget the power we hold collectively. Each one of you contributes to the larger narrative of my success. Be proud of your role and let that pride drive you to achieve even greater success. Oh, there's a conclusion. Let me quickly um, get the right song for the conclusion. <clears throat> In conclusion, I want to express my gratitude for the hard work you put in, day in and day out. Oh yes, your dedication goes not unnoticed. Let's continue to work together, support one another, and make this factory a shining example of what can be achieved when a team is truly united. Thank you for coming to my TEDx talk. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was a bit full on. That was a bit full on. I loved that ChatGPT just made the most generic thing, but really, I should I should whip that out at the next um, next company meeting we have, Connor. That would be wonderful. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be very good. I'm not sure if that would actually make people work harder. It'd probably just be like, who the hell am I working for? <laughs> <laughs> maybe 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 who knows oh dear what is going if it's going to work for anybody it'll work for you yeah yeah okay we've got some coal mines going on over here jeez this is all manual coal mining this is actually crazy absolutely crazy oh yeah As this is the amount of like effort that goes into this chat gpt certified yeah, honestly, that was exactly as chat GPT as you would expect. <laughs> These people running around expanding the iron plate mines. Very good. Very, very good. Production graphs, how are we doing? The vertical line of iron ore is a thing to behold. Like, the fact that it is... The production of iron ore is endlessly increasing at the same percentage rate is wild. Absolutely wild. Oh, yeah, it just keeps going up. It ju the line does just keep going up, especially if you go to the one hour. It just is a lovely vertical line. So this is the coal. Coal is doing good. Then iron plates, iron ore. Jeez. Okay, we've got some science up. Not much, though. Quite slow from what I can see. Yeah, we're not... I think we're only producing automated science packs manually currently. So that is a is a bottleneck. Scuffed cross promotion Jabbo Raid. Jabbo Raid! Hello, Scuffed Cross Promotion Jabbo Raid. Welcome, Jabbo Raiders. If you're a if you're a Jabbo Raider, you just missed out on me reading a chat GPT motivational script. But Jabbo, have I got the song to motivate you and your audience? It's drifting. Because today we be speedrunning Factorio. Drifting round the factory. Looking at graphs. Whoa, look at them go. Look at them fluctuate. So good. So good. Look at them. 
them numbers expand. Expand the numbers, Jabo. Yes. But yes, welcome. Um, we are doing a live stream of a Factorio speedrun. We did a session before this, which was a practice session. This is the professional session. And then the final session that we'll be doing after this, uh, hopefully we beat the world record of 50, 49 minutes, um, is one where everyone can join. And it should be utter chaos, where we might even beat the record that we've just set. Um, this is the content I subscribe for. I know, Jabo, it's premium content. We've got a few other YouTubers joining us in this. Troopin, the Factorio YouTuber, did join us and was helping out with the steel system last time. Where the hell is he? Is he even doing anything? He best not be slacking again. Um, but yeah, there's about 162 players on here, all of whom are doing everything within their power to make this rocket silo launch a rocket in under 49 minutes and 45 seconds, which is the world record set by this people effectively um but yeah hopefully science is going to start catching up soon a little bit of a bottleneck at the moment but this is the kind of thing you can build into oh it was terrifying spiff it, it was look the first one was brilliant what is a jabbo raid why is it scuffed what platform was it crossed from why is it a jabbo jabbo is a fallout 4 sorry no actually jabbo is a fallout new vegas no actually sorry Jabbo is a Nintendogs Twitch streamer, um, and you can watch him on YouTube or Twitch. He, he does YouTube videos. The YouTube videos are edited. The Twitch streams are an unbridled rage at the society we live in. No, actually, they're, they're also wonderful. Um, but yes, he, he has raided us. Um, and today, everyone is here to join us for the growth of a factory. Speaking of growth, you can you can press the like button and grow us to... Um, to, to 5,000 likes. You can do that. Only you can do that. And then what you can also do is you can all press F5 on the stream and that refreshes the amount of time you've been watching to artificially increase the quantity of people that were watching at the first 30 second mark. It's a complicated YouTube exploit. Don't worry. You can do it. I, I, you could press the F5 key. I'm not telling you to do it, but it's something you could do, right? Question mark. Um... How are we doing? Okay, so the science is now up and running. So we have researched uh, we've researched automation. We're now getting electronics, fast inserters, but we've got a long way to go because we need to get chemical science pack, then down from chemical science pack to production science pack, and then to rocket silo. So as you can see, very early days so far. We only have four techs kind of done. Actually, how many techs do we have done? Yeah, we only have four techs done. But we've researched relatively fast at the moment um, because, you know, we've got a lot of nonsense going on. Um, Spiff asking us to give him growth. Ooh, it's 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 completely fine to ask for growth from the bros, you know. Um, can I use a VPN and upvote from another server? I don't know if that makes any difference. Oops, I accidentally clicked F5. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> Thank you, Jabbo. Um, but yes, this is basically the graph of what we're doing. I've got a nice warm mug of cider. So, Connor, you're the person who I would say largely helped orchestrate this outside of the people who are already doing it. Um, how long has this been in the making, Connor? Uh, it's been quite a while that we got a message to begin with. It's been months. It, it's it been has about actually been months, yeah. Two months since we first did our recruitment to get, to get some people trained up to speed up. The, I mean, that's why the, the bloody record is so fast is because our guys were so good <laughs> yeah if i remember correctly the first record was like over an hour for the mmp right and then we got our guys in and then they set this time of 49 45 and it's like well it, jesus christ it, it was all over 50 minutes, we, all over we, 50 minutes. after after our recruitment we, we got the first record or they set collectively the yeah. first record below 50 minutes that yeah that's the fastest rocket launch in factorio history which is wild, absolutely wild. And today, you in the chat could be experiencing that with us. Um, it's fun actually seeing some of the names I recognize from our, our Discord here. I mean, of course, one cooler guy running around. He's been part of this community. Um, there's there's a lot, yeah, it's quite quite fun seeing all the trained trained little goblins um, do, their, <laughs> do their little rat jobs. I, I like to call my side of the team the factory rats because they are kind of like little rats scurrying around the factory. Sometimes they they just nibble a loose cable and everything goes wrong. Other times, they add a benefit. 
Um, and the benefit is useful. Other times, no such benefit is added at all. Oh. <laughs> MMP <laughs> stands for many, many people. <laughs> many, many people. Yeah, MMP stands for many, many people. It also stands for... I can't come up with one off the top of my head. I, I've, LMP stands for Lemon Meringue Pie. There you go. That's a fun, fun acronym for for the aspiring bakers of the live stream chat. <laughs> oh dear, you have no idea how much I'm looking forward to the fact that Mango is baking bread at the moment. Like she's wanted to bake bread for ages, and I was like, "Bake bread, do it. I love eating bread." And now, finally, bread. Oh. Fish in the rocket, please. Not half bad. Ask me to put a fish in the rocket. I don't think I'm allowed to put a fish in the rocket. I mean, I can ask. Would it be wrong of me to request that we put a fish in the rocket? If it is impossible, then do not worry. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Oh, dear. Oh. Mango meringue pie? That sounds like a weird weird maneuver we, we can't call it a mango meringue pie <laughs> oh god um i mean it's up it's up to the actual organizers to say whether we can put a fish in it oh someone put a love heart on me um i mean it makes sense so long and thanks for all the fish someone just said happy birthday spiff in the chat that's not going to make people think it's my birthday and so the law starts saying happy birthday <laughs> oh dear it's pretty funny. Yeah, have you told people it's your birthday? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely know? my birthday, guys. Definitely my, how did you guys know it was my birthday today? That's so crazy. You know what's wild? I was so busy yesterday because, you know, it was my birthday yesterday as well. Um, so, oh, yeah. Fish. Yeah, go got a fish. Does <laughs> fish do anything? Let me just fill up my inventory with fish. It speeds up, speeds up the rocket. It speeds up the rocket. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Consumed increases. Okay, so it just heals you. Amazing. Amazing. What did I get for my birthday? I got four fish, apparently. Um, <laughs> God, I feel really. There will be people who genuinely join for Gids My Birthday, though, because we had this for ages with. Um, with the live streams, because I accidentally had something on stream basically saying, like, happy birthday to me, because it was a donation alert, and then a load of people were like, oh, it's it's Spiff's birthday, cool. Let's, um, <laughs> let's just say, thanks, Spiff, happy birthday, and people donated me money saying happy birthday, and I have to be like, no, it's not my birthday, please don't give me money. <laughs> oh, dear. It's just a mass cast light. Hmm. Troopin's back is hurting because of all the caring he is doing. Troopin is a, Troopin is doing sweet FA. He's he's not even a cog in the machine. Let look. Look at him. Look at him. He is just stationary. He's adding nothing of value. <laughs> he is actually just He's literally just still. standing there. There you go. Someone just shot him. That's motivated him to move a bit. Jeez, not even the threat of not surviving is enough. Okay, he's he's off. No, he's back. I think he's just pretending to look busy. He heard you. I I genuinely think this this could be the laziest man we have on our entire team. I've seen people who I thought were doing nothing, and they were even doing they were doing stuff. That's what makes this so incredible. Some of them were actually doing things. He's overseeing. I'm overseeing. I'm the overseer. This man is an imposter. Only I... Troopin, I am reporting you to middle management. You best explain your inactivity when it comes to meeting production quotas Says, but I'm the middle management. <laughs> okay. Well, I am top 
management and you are the power bottom management <laughs> oh dear trooping is sus mm, potentially okay he says he's doing his best good well chop chop and get motivating let's take a look at how our science is doing it's going quite well geez okay we've research speed modules then it's logistics too and then it's straight onto railway we actually need to assign some new uh, technology because we are teching fast very very fast we're almost halfway through the tech tree although it does slow down here but of course we speed it up by building more science packs um chupa thingy donates two dollars say love you spiff thanks for the vids like the stream thank you oh my god okay good they're queuing up new tech i was a bit worried they weren't gonna queue up the tech in time um geez my kidneys can only handle so much we are blasting through tech they need to queue up way more tech get queuing jeez <laughs> they're smashing that will drones be used there's no need to use drones because we're beating the game in sub 50 minutes drones are meaningless they are completely meaningless 5,000 likes achieved thank you chat but yeah you don't need drones because the human beings are the drones they work like the time spent researching and setting up drones is time not spent building science labs if that makes sense and it's always better to do that maximum efficiency yeah exactly Player progress speed uh, speed up by 498 times. Well, currently, it's about 162 times. The next stream, well, the next uh, next run we do, that'll be 450 times, potentially 500 times, maybe over 500 times. I don't know how many of you will join. I just arbitrarily said 500 people. The people on the Discord were like, oh, yeah, yeah, we can host 500 people, no problem. And I was like, are you sure about that? Are you really sure about that? Um, but they seem confident. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's true, but apparently after our last 500 player attempt, they optimized the uh, uh, the player code. I'll so... believe it when I see it, Factorio devs. I love you guys, but as someone who regularly attempts to do large multiplayer live streams, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I'm still skeptical, but <laughs> apparently, apparently from what allegedly. I have been told, yeah, allegedly. Allegedly. It will become apparent if they have or haven't. Mm -hmm. All right, I can take a look at the achievements. Um, oh, look, there is an achievement for so long and thanks for all the fish. Is that literally putting... That must be putting a fish on the rocket, right? That's got to be what that achievement's for. <laughs> Definitely. Oh. All right. Construction is going quite well, though. Do, 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 do. What running it is, is this Yeah, it snowballs. Teams? So the faster you do the first buildings, like with the coal and iron, the faster you get the later sciences. Yeah, that's basically how it functions because... Um, oh my god, this person has dropped off more fish at my feet. I can't remember. What's the, what's the button to pick up everything around you? I thought it was F. Oh, it is F. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah. Okay, there's just a lot of server lag, so it's not very well optimized for me running around holding F. Um, all right, let me just grab all of that. It doesn't matter that I'm slowing down the server by collecting fish. Um, eat the birthday fish. What man wants to eat 74 fish for his birthday? Maybe I do. Yum, 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 <laughs> yum. Yummy fish. Disgusting, yummy fish. I hate fish, by the way. I think they're pretty, pretty mank. Not my kind of jam. Oh. Uh, could the launch time be set to 15 minutes if you can send all the people from chat and Discord? I mean, I think it's scientifically impossible, right? Because there has to be a bottleneck of diminishing returns. Because it physically takes time for the team to move from the spawn, which is like here, and go up to here to, uh, to, to like mine the coal and the copper iron so yeah there is a bottleneck but it is possible uh, yeah you waste a few minutes at the start of the run just people getting to the places that they need to be yeah also everyone loads in slightly differently everyone takes different tasks to do and things like that but yeah it's um 
There's definitely a lot of some progress here. What's going on here? Missing science packs. Oh, we now need blue science packs as well for the research. Jeez. That's complicated. Okay, we've got some blue science packs coming in now. Wow. This is quite the uh, quite the setup we have going here. I don't even know where the blue science packs are coming from. Oh, I guess... I think I'm seeing them getting moved along here. Yes, I am. Okay. So, my lovely spiffing science setup is now contributing to the research, which is very good indeed. That's what you want to see. Very nice to see the teams doing great. Um, not half bad, bad. Thanks for donating $5. Say, uh, you're welcome. Uh, Grukum says, that's not server lag, that's probably just latency between you and the server. The server is still probably running 20 TPS. Yeah, it probably is. It, it, the server's probably still running fine, but with this many players, the problem is you, you still hit a cap where the server kind of deems what's happening as kind of almost like a DDoS. Um, and most servers and game servers aren't set up for handling a bunch of people joining or leaving at the same time which is one of the main issues we have when we host servers, is filtering people into one space. Would you agree, Connor? That is quite often the problem, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, even just today, you you mentioned the Discord, and then I had to unfreeze the Discord because it thought that so many people were joining that it was a raid. Was that our Discord, yeah? Our Discord, yeah. Well, it's because nobody uses our Discord. No, I'm joking. A lot of people use our Discord. And that's funny. I was making a joke. I was making a joke. Don't be mean. Um, <laughs> thank you, Jonathan uh, Maker, for donating $5. Say, hi, Spiff. I'm your biggest fan. And I've got to say that your power management, uh, the power management you wield is extraordinary. Let me know uh, when you're seeing this so I can subscribe. I'm seeing this. Wait, how does that... If you're my biggest fan, why aren't you subscribed? How does that... Troopin is writing subscribe on the map. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'll let that scribe. I'll, I'll let that last. Oh, no, that wasn't even put by him. But that's pretty funny. It doesn't even read subscribe. It reads subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <clears throat> All right. Okay, we're going Advanced Electronics 2 into... Um, Advanced Electronics 2 into Utility Science Packs, into Rocket Fuel, into Speed Modules. Speed Modules are good because they make everything work faster, which is what you need, because uh, they that helps fix the bottlenecks. But yeah, we then need Rocket Control Units. They were a big bottleneck, it would seem, because the rocket needs a load of them. Yeah. We subprimed, subscribed. It's so nice to see a bunch of subscribers in the chat. <laughs> Shout out if you're a sub subscriber. Oh, did, wait, hang on a second. I have the chat set to sub only mode. So how did they even send that message without being subscribed, Connor? I have so many questions. Can you super chat without having access to the yes. live chat? Yes, that I know they bypasses it. Yeah. That is crazy. So you could be in a live stream where you can't even talk, but you're still giving money. That's that's kind of that's that's wild. It's that's pay to win. Wild. Does that allow you to bypass timeouts and everything? Oh. Because a timeout means you can't write in the chat. But yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, if you could get around the limitation of not being able to write in the chat by just donating. That's a a terrible thing for moderation, but very funny at the same time. YouTube says it's okay to be banned in the chat, provided you're willing to cough up money. Does someone want to test it? I mean, if someone if someone's willing to test it, I will give you a temporary timeout, and you can see if you can donate. <laughs> yeah, that'd be interesting to see. I mean, there are there are um, uh, donation limits. Yeah, so there it are. doesn't work forever, but no. it's still funny. It is still funny. Goodness, look at all this petroleum gas we're producing. And then buildings, we've got, we're making, how many, we've made 17,000 transport belts, 5,000 inserters, 3.9 thousand long-handed inserters, 2.4k of pipes. That's madness. Subscribed. Oh my goodness. 
Lixnix says I will time out. Lixnix, oh yeah, as in you can time out. I thought you'd like time out me, but Lixnix, you're a mod, so I don't think I can time you out. Oh, wow. Our consumption of iron ore is actually greater than our production, but then our production increases. I guess we have a backlog on the line. It's probably what causes this. Basically, um, if you take a look at, say, the mines, this stuff can eventually just get like jammed and stop up like this. So this isn't able to produce because the belt is backed up. And then, of course, when the belt frees up, it can get going again. And that's happening on a massive scale. Absolutely massive scale. Yeah, you're constantly chasing the slowest part, I guess. Yeah, because you have to iron out the efficiency when it's on like a scale as large as this. And you have a bunch of players who are willing to spend the time ironing out the efficiency, like with this splitter setup. This is pretty much the most efficient splitter setup you can have. Because it keeps fluidity very active. I know lots of stuff was redesigned between the first and... Well, our, our first, second and third... Uh, like attempts but yeah, not definitely. this stream I mean like s s the la two months ago one month ago and then today lots of stuff <laughs> has been updated every single time yeah they just keep updating it someone just said they subscribe because it's my birthday thank you very much Derek Conway for, for subscribing because it's my birthday um, Greasy Trigger thanks for five gifted memberships that's very generous of you if you received one say thank you time's running out uh, it's 35 minutes it is kind of getting low Productivity module is getting researched. Queued research military. Is military needed? No, no. It is literally... Um, yeah, we need productivity module, rocket control unit, speed module, rocket silo. Oh, and then someone just queued military at the end because it doesn't matter. I mean, we could, we'd probably research military in about half a second if I had to guess. <laughs> yeah, it's just... It's just... 50, uh, sorry, 10 red. Yeah. Forge World Spiff is taking shape. Honestly, Forge World Spiff is doing well. Um... Uh, the problem with doing anything in terms of like uh, d disabling deconstruction and stuff uh, to prevent griefing is that that uh, voids our uh, like speedrun eligibility. Yeah. yeah, you can't really modify the game to that extent because at that point you're running a modded version of the game. Um, yeah I mean it does add other problems like if you play something down wrong you can't remove it which on a scale this big could be pretty dire god look at that we've already got the five sciences set up in the middle look at that science three is a go have we got that level of science up in our base yes we do oh my god we were ahead of the main base Oh, yes, look at our output. And we've got efficiency modules, meaning we go even faster. Take that, plebs of the center. Us externals are not limited by by that nonsense. Yes, very look good. Look at it go. Look at it go. Look at them as they produce endlessly. Endless consumption. Can chat mods not receive random membership gifts? I don't think chat mods can because I've never seen it happen. I generally think the chat mods can't receive it. Yeah. Oh. It's just a it's just a guess, but considering how active we have chat mods in the chat and the fact that I've never seen it happen, and we've had live streams where like you know one fifth of the people watching received a gifted membership, it it feels like it should have been inevitable that they would have had one. But yeah, I don't think it is the case. I mean, there's you can test by chat. If you gifted 6,900 memberships right now, we'd be able to work out if the mod team could have memberships. <laughs> that would only cost you the entire GDP of Slough to pull off. Right, queued up the research of Rocket Silo. Oh, yeah, we need RCU. Yep, yep, yep. Thanks for the advice, Goobalicious. You what should change the lines to be more efficient. In brackets, I've never beaten the game before. Very, uh, <laughs> You're right, insightful. Goobalicious. Let me have a quick look around here. Yeah, this is an inefficient setup here. There should be some splitters here. You're right. Goobalicious, I found the problem. I found the problem right here. This is the bottleneck. This is the problem. Um, 
This is a big problem. Uh, There's another problem over here. This is inefficient. This is inefficient. This oh, so many inefficient lines. Look at this. Look at these Ooh, inefficiencies. Yeah. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that's so inefficient. Oh. Oh, I can't even I can't even watch. I can't even watch. Oh, you're right. Also, I've never beaten the game before. No, I, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I think I beat it on like um Steam Deck or something. Actually? Yeah. I mean, I did most of the save file on PC, but... Oh, uh, okay. Austin Galligan is uh, taking us up on the offer and has gifted 20 memberships to the channel. <laughs> it would only cost 27,550 Great British Pounds to pull off. <laughs> okay, well, if we, have any, if we have any oil barons in the chat tonight, any oil barons in the chat? I mean... Hang on a second. I suppose there was... Um, did you see the hype train that happened yesterday on Twitch? The world record one? Yeah, by... Um, Pirate uh, Software. Yeah, Pirate Software. He's a fan of the channel, by the way, Connor. I went really? Into, yeah, I went into the stream just to say hi, and he was like, oh my god, the spiffing Brit. We had a nice little chat. But yeah. <laughs> and his chat is a nightmare. His moves really quickly. Really, really quickly. Ever about, He's yeah. blown up, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, it really, really has in like the last few months. It's quite quite entertaining to say the least. But it makes sense. He covers an interesting topic and there's basically no one else covering it in his way. Pl plus he has a smooth, relaxing British voice. Well, not British voice, True. but a nice, calm American voice. Yes. Oh. And lots of insight into... Game development. Game in the gaming industry. It didn't work. Can't super chat on timeout. Thank you, Vodka. That's good to know. Ah, that's that's actually fun science. It's nice to learn something. We're probably the only YouTube. You, well, you're the only person to ever test that on YouTube, I imagine. <laughs> that can't be true. <laughs> no, come on. Probably is. You know it probably is. Let's take a look at the statistics. Jeez, what shot up in the last hour? Copper cables. Jeez, we've produced... Okay, we've mined 1.5 million ore. I don't... That's, that's insane. 40 minutes to mine <laughs> a million minutes. ore. I think each ore in this game is also meant to represent a ton, right? So, like, that's 1.5 million tons. All I'm thinking is that the little Factorio men are insanely strong they're incredibly strong i mean i'm walking around with 444 fish in my inventory so it doesn't get much stronger than that there's a lot of fish on the floor around me as well i'm just gonna leave that there just gonna leave that right there well i just unlocked a load like so many achievements did you oh did did all of the uh, production achievements finally kick in yeah. <laughs> Rocket execution zone in Ooh. effect. Do not com if we want to complete the run. World record is on the cards. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is fast. Do not minutes. go near the rocket. Oh, that's why they're researching military. Do not approach the rocket. You can watch in the map mode there we go right oh. there we go god look at I this i think penguin 07 is in on dial up they've been catching up the entire time seriously <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh dear scott wiggum thanks for gifting 20 memberships in chat thank you very much Lixnix apparently said, and I just got a membership gifted again. Oh, did you actually get one, Lix? That's incredible. Oh, okay. So, okay. So the mods can actually get memberships. There we go. That's good to know. Thank you very much, uh, Scott Wiggum, for generously gifting the mod team. Um, and 
<laughs> social in chat donated 400 rupees, I think, to say, I have 1,200 hours in this game, but I've defeated it only once. Well, we might just beat it in under 49 minutes, which would mean um, you could have probably beaten the game, you know, 1,300 times if you'd really put your, your effort in. That's all I'm saying. If anything, you've been quite lazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear Right We're getting close now We're getting really close The rocket silo is down It's going to get filled with stuff Crafting speed is a go Everything's in It's working Rocket parts 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 It's got power It's got Yeah, it's got a lot of power consumption So it's fine Oh my goodness, look at it go. Look at it go. Look at it go. This is incredible. God, loading a save map. Now is not the time to load the save map. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, this could be it. This could be the world record Factorio speedrun attempt. This could be the one. 64, 67, 68, 71... Insuff item ingredient shortage. Oh god. There's an item ingredient shortage. <laughs> oh my god. It needs so many RCUs. Oh my god. Look at these people running along trying to pick up the RCUs and put them in. Come on. 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 Put it in. Put it in. Put it in. It, we've reached a point where people are saying don't research because it slows down the game. <laughs> what? <laughs> the microseconds we could be losing. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is close. 95, 96, 98, 99. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, you can do this game. One rocket part. Preparing for the rocket. rocket launch. Yes. That's it. Oh, that is so Oh fast. my God. <laughs> We've done it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh what? my God. How are they ever going to top this? This, this is, is never going to be topped so in the fast. This will never be topped in the entirety of human history, ladies and gentlemen, unless we top it in the next hour. Oh my god. We did it. We did it. Oh my oh god. Oh my lord. Whoa. Okay. Chat are going to have to pull their britches up and do pull something out of their asses. That's a world record, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Jeez. That has to be a world record, right? It was okay, it was a world record to science one, apparently. Um as well. 173 players online. I'm gonna save that replay. Um World Record Factorio. Oh my god. We won spiffing my boss. We won my spiffing boss. Oh my goodness. I am proud of you all. Brave factory rats. <laughs> okay, I think <laughs> 4606 is the time. 46.06. Okay, so we beat the last one by about, uh, by slightly over three minutes. About three minutes and a half. Whoa. Okay, <sighs> they, they're getting they're getting the time update from the Time Master. Yes. I'm going to hop into the MMP General briefly so we can hear the cries of victory. Can I get a glorious scream of victory from you all simultaneously? That's incredible. Um, time to eat all of the 700 fish I have in my inventory. Oh my goodness. Yum, 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 yum. Uh, and on my 
birthday of all days. Canonically, we're going to make this my new birthday. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh my god. What a race. What an absolute race. I can't believe that. That was crazy. I thought it was amazing when they did the 4945. <laughs> we just <laughs> destroyed. Yeah, that was almost a sub quarter of a, like three quarters of an hour Factorio speedrun. Oh my goodness. I wonder if that's. I mean, obviously, the tool assisted runs are going to be so much faster, but that might be the fastest ever. I don't. Yeah, because even with a tool assisted run, what, you'd need like 100 PCs to try and match that? Logically. Yeah. Because there's no, like, you could you could macro as a solo player, right? But you need a lot of computers macroing all at the same time. Um, we, can, we can check. We can check. Yeah. Jeez. You what? Okay, X is checking the video. In game, it was forty six thirty five, so that's the in game time. Chat. Oh my god. We just, we just, com I, Connor, I just set a world record without even playing the bloody game. <laughs> 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 and this isn't even like a world record other people can beat, right? Chat, I hope you're aware of this. The only people who can beat this world record is us. Because, I mean, it yeah. is it is scientifically impossible unless another massive YouTuber comes along and organizes this again. Which takes months, by the way, of people going and spending time out of their day. Lots of smaller content creators as well. Like, it's it's wild. Uh, the, the Factorio speedrunning team is huge absolutely huge there's many of them yeah well we, we need some of our uh our fans to keep doing this to give them a fighting chance exactly we can't abandon them apparently we made 355 in uh, 355 thousand inserters um <laughs> oh my god mango made the mango made the bread oh my god mango oh my god i <laughs> Take a picture of it and send it to me on Discord. I'll put it on the stream. That looks amazing. Don't eat it then. Oh my god. Don't eat it yet. Don't eat it yet. Take a picture. i got to show the Christmas tree bread. Whoa. Watch PewDiePie do it. PewDiePie doesn't play Factorio. Oh, right. Okay. So, um, the next game, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be one that everyone can take part in. Um... We also achieved the lowest UPS in Factorio history, um, potentially. I don't know. <laughs> oh dear. I'm gonna probably lower my graphic set. No, actually, I'll leave my graphic settings alone. Um, one minute, one hour and twenty-one minutes seems to be the oldest record. That's the oldest record for solo Factorio. So, basically, we did what it took one person to do in half the time using 176 people. <laughs> um, I hope that makes sense. Is there an um, any percent MP high score list? Uh, there is an MP high score list, but it doesn't feature the MMP, which is technically what we're doing. Yeah, what we're doing, because we use um, uh, blueprints, it's New Game Plus massive multiplayer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if people want to join, uh, the first thing that they need to do is switch their game to the latest experimental version. Okay, we're switching to experimental. I've, I've just been running this on normal. Oh, have you? Yeah. Maybe you can just join with normal. Yeah, then. you can. Is anyone, okay. Okay. A warning for people who don't like the look of bread. Um, <laughs> if, if you're out there, don't do not do this. If you don't look at the stream, if you don't like bread. Um, bread. That's some bread. If it's the screen. Right, okay. I do believe this here is the MMP version. So let me get my speed run timer going. Okay, so this is the version everyone can join if I'm correct. And there's some bread. <laughs> Quick bread based interlude. I'll remove that now. All right. <clears throat> okay, is this the same game? Okay, no, this just looks like the same game to me. Yeah, this is the same server. Okay, I haven't taken down the server yet. Oh my god. Melted it's cheese. got melted cheese in the middle. Whoa! Oh my god. Let me eat some of this. Careful. Um, it's hot. Um, oh my god. It's the best bread I've ever had. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. 
Someone in chat says I dislike bread. Get the gluten intolerant one. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but yeah, the um, the MP, the multiplayer Steam, like well, the speedrunning community, I believe, is called Steelax, right? Is the uh, Factorio name Correct, for their yep. own speedrunning community, which is very cute. I'll fix this. Oh. Birthday tree bread. Birthday tree bread. Woo. Hmm. I can't believe you set a world record. You did. Hmm. A um, lot. Yeah, I'll mute myself. I'll be back in a moment. Yep. Yeah, sure. You're with me now, chat. Hmm. I think he must be liking the bread. Uh, yes, Hexmage, you are correct. But there are also 70, 80 people that turn up every week now. Every, well, every month. I think it's once a month they do speedrun runs. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you type exclamation mark join in chat, it'll give you the information that you need to join you go there'll be a website that shows up uh you go there and it has a link to the discord with the voice chats it has the server information well it has the server password the information is just pretty much the one with the most players it's called mmp speedrun though yeah and basically what you want to do is you want to help as much as possible to build whatever the blueprint is if you don't understand what the blueprint does it doesn't matter but there is a chance that, oh my god, that's a lot of join requests. Um, there's a chance that if we all do this together and the people that actually know what, what is happening happens, we might be able to beat the world record that we just set and once and for all truly make it impossible to uh, to to beat the game like we have. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the command has a five second cooldown. Oh my but because god, it's so firing. many people are spamming it, it doesn't even know what it's, it's doing. It's bypassed the cooldown limitations, Connor. Um, I do believe they need to reset the server because we still have the server from the last run, basically. So, yeah, yeah they just might. It at the moment. I'm not sure what they're doing at the moment. Okay, I think they've changed the name. Uh, Spiff. Okay, they've changed the uh, the username. Yeah, they have. Right, let me quickly um, ah, okay. hide, and then I'll go change the server. Quick game. Oh, uh, I'm assuming they're updating there. Mm. I mean, logically. Do, 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 do. What, was it, what would it be? I don't think I can actually see the server up, so I'm going to choose that. It is not up currently. I think they currently may be assigning people. But yeah, there is a chance we get the largest wave of factory rats possible. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one second. Just dividing up who gets the last of the bread, okay. Um, it's important. <laughs> You've got to set boundaries in a relationship. Especially when there's... Ah! Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's my bread, I told you! My bread! Um... <laughs> uh, for those that don't know, Mango just ripped down half of the stuff on the windowsill in my office. <laughs> <laughs> Did she trip over the chair? She tripped over her own feet, from what I could tell. <laughs> it was the oh, okay, on the okay. Floor. She she tripped over the the Wi-Fi router that I've sat on the floor. 
Thank you for Mango. I often say thank you what for Mango. What did you just say? Wi-Fi wi router, router. I can't be asked, Connor. I don't know. What's the password? I call it uh, wi router. router. Okay. Get it? Is it the same password? No, it's going to be a different password. I typed in the same password as last time, but you, I don't think... I think they're still you, on the old server. I know that there was... Um, no, the... Oh. Apparently, patience. How many? What, as in how much patience is needed? Yeah. A lot. Hmm. <laughs> Mango's just given me garlic mayo, but I have no knife to which to scoop out the garlic mayo. Mango, can I have a knife, please? <laughs> ah. Oh, okay. Oh, apparently, um, 300 plus players to be expected, password to follow when it starts. Okay, so they're setting it up now at the moment. Um, the actual, um, administrator of the Steelax Discord is, is doing this, uh, which is pretty funny. Pretty funny indeed. <laughs> I can't believe we got a, uh, we got such a, such an incredible, incredible time. Use your tongue, use your finger. I'm not scooping out lovely delicious artisanal garlic mayo with my finger troopin hello in chat how do you think that went actually i suppose i could just add troopin to this voice call couldn't i do i have troopin as a friend on discord yeah i do all right connor i'm adding him in <clears throat> all right he might join us he might not join us i mean he is he is streaming Update the time to beat. Um, update. Well, I'll wait until I get the exact official time. Yeah, we haven't got a proper time yet. Because we've got vague estimates, but they have to give a like a correct time. It, we definitely did beat the world record. It's basically just by how much did we beat the world record. Um, is the answer. Troop and carried. I mean, pff, yeah. We only needed one member of management, and I was, I was clutching. I was Hello. cutting clutch. Hello, Troopin. How are you doing on this fine day? I'm doing spiffing. We won. We have the world record. We do. Yes. Well, sorry. No, actually, I think you mean I have the world record. As the no, member no, of the head no. management team, I get the record, it, right? You was doing nothing the whole run. You cannot argue with that. <laughs> I was doing the whole job. You were just standing mm. there doing nothing. Yes, but remember, you wouldn't have had the opportunity to partake in this run if I hadn't, as the, the boss and the landowner, invited you to work on my land and motivate my subjects on my behalf. So, logically, it is still, it is still my speed run, Troopin, my run. You can't take I'm that I'm sorry, me. but when it comes to speedrunning, uh, no, when it comes to Factorio, this is my land. And you cannot take it from it. Uh, I think you'll find that the British people are very good at taking land from people who believe they own it. Um, so such an excuse will not last, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, that, that's true. It is true. You know it's true. You, you can't deny the truth. But yeah, did you have fun? Was that was that a good good session for you? Yeah, yeah, it was uh, wonderful. I you mean, not move. the first round because uh, yeah, some guy was trolling. It, these things happen. Are you uh, excited for the um, for the uh, the next one? Yeah, sure. I cannot wait. You can't wait. Wow. Okay, I think we might have the official time. Is forty seven minutes and nine seconds for the world record. Um, and see. the previous world record was forty nine minutes, right? The previous world record was forty nine forty five. So we beat it by slightly over three minutes, about three minutes and a half. Okay, so we are doing great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much impossible for another human being to ever beat this time. Because uh, you need to get this many people together. Oh. I yes. think it's possible. You think it's possible? You think other people could beat this record? Yes. 
Right, I'm being asked when do we start run free um, by the uh, team. I just said whenever you're ready, so I guess um, whenever they want to, we, we will begin. My goodness. Oh. But yeah, uh, I'm, thank you very much for joining us, by the way. Oh, Georgie's joined me in my office. Okay, Troopin and Connor, you have the stream. I need to go get myself a knife for my celebratory oh. garlic butter and bread. <laughs> what was I say then? You, you, Troopin, you're an entertainer. You're a comedian. You're a streamer. And Connor is uh, is an intern of mine, so you should have it. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> so I'm responding to messages as well. This is the worst timing. I don't know what to say. Uh, what is your favorite uh, tea? Uh, well, Yorkshire tea, obviously. Ah. I think I'd probably get fired if I said anything else. <laughs> to be honest, I never drink that that, that tea. Uh, I don't know if it's... It's a very British tea. Um, I think it's basically since Spiff has started advertising it that it's even started really being sold internationally on uh, on like Amazon and things like that before you had to go to special special shops yeah because I think I never saw this tea in, in any shop in my country yeah, it wouldn't surprise me I mean it does have Yorkshire in the name which is a specific region yeah sure but when you have the um, like the, the vine like the, there are so different vine that are specific for the region they're sold, uh, like, all over the world. True. What on earth are you two going on about? Wait, wait, somebody said that coffee is better. I have to ban some, somebody. <laughs> Good. <laughs> he was okay. trying to get me fired. That's what it was. He said, oh. what's your favorite tea? And I said, I can't. How am I supposed to say anything else? You, well, you know what the answer is, Connor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You have to spend 10% of your employee salary on it. Everyone knows yeah. that in the company. That's important. Uh, what's going on with the server? Effectively, um... Okay. I think they've got a new server up, basically. So it's not this server. I wonder how many players are going to join it. Uh, I mean, I'd guess around about 300, 400. There's a chance we could do 500. It depends how many people in the live chat want to try and fry and their motherboard on this. Do you think server gonna handle it? No. <laughs> I think the same. Yeah, there are currently 234 players on that server. And it's only going to get more. It will. Unfortunately. Unfortunately? You mean fortunately? <laughs> I guess you're right. Fortunately. Still waiting for the password. I see. Okay. I see. So we have, we have the name of the server. We just don't have the password. Is that it? Okay. Yeah, because I was worried because the website doesn't have... It's not... The, the name isn't up isn't like a dynamic field mm -hmm. so if they did change it then it would be a bit awkward so is is the name of the server mmp speedrun it is the same one right it it's got to be i don't know they could spool up a second server for this there is a chance maybe they have access to that we don't know we don't know what their technology is like connor <laughs> oh, oh when, when i they know why you were able to join one one point one Point one hundred is the latest stable, but it is also the beta, the latest beta experimental. They're, they're the same version. Normally, they're mismatched. It makes perfect yeah. sense. So it's worth to mention that when somebody wants to join the game, they have to go to Steam and set up the latest experimental. No, no, you don't have to. You can join on the base as well because I'm on the base game at the moment, oh. and it still lets me join. So you don't even need to do experimental. Okay. Yeah, no. They lied to you. My <laughs> whole life was a lie. Your whole life was a lie. You must update to the latest firmware version. Oh. Right, okay. Um, oh, it was a Fred, apparently. Oh, no, someone just made a Fred to put a Finnish flag. That's not, that's not useful at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's not useful. 
Oh, there is another server up. Okay. Is the Okay, game is starting. I gotta go for a minute. You've gotta go got go for a, a minute. Fine. I've got a cat. Okay, you go deal with your cat. <laughs> oh, so, what is it like being a Factorio creator, Troopin? It's great. You just build in the factories, fight with the biters, and okay. take the land from the them. So now that all of the uh, the, you know the the agents that listen in on us have gone, um, what is it really like to be a Factorio YouTuber? Uh, it, it's great. I work in the factory and, and it, it's good. <laughs> it's good. Factory's good. Yeah. Oh, dear. I've noticed that, like, um, as far as, like, short form content goes, right, Troopin? I hate shorts. It's known that I hate them. It's known that I hate I... the TikToks. However, I make an exception for you and only you. Wait, you, you watch my shorts? Mm hmm. They're pretty funny. Oh, thank you. And talking about shorts, I'm gonna send you a screenshot. Oh. Mm. This one. Is it your entire income? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much YouTube shorts. Oh my god. Yes, it is. Am I allowed to show this on stream? Because this pretty much yeah, sums sure. it up. <laughs> yeah, so you can show it on stream. I didn't know numbers went that low. <laughs> oh my god. And also those random spikes. Like, short is dead for 15 dance, days, then it got some spike and it's again dead. Yeah, this is this is literally what YouTube Shorts looks like. You get absolutely nothing except a tiny piddling of views and then suddenly all of the viewership in like the span of 60 minutes. And then, um, then you make, you know, 0.002 dollars off of it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. So I think in total I have how many views on shorts do I have? Oh, let's double check. Um because we have a statistic for that. So if I go analytics, revenue, and then I go for the entire lifetime of my channel and I sort by shorts. Okay, it's loading. It's loading a lot of analytics. It turns out I've been a YouTuber for some time. Oh my okay, god, I one, the trillion, same. one trillion pounds? Oh my god, whoa. No, um, Ooh. It's still loading. It's still loading. Okay, right, there we go. Shorts. Okay, it's only available from the 19th of May 2022. Fine, okay, I'll do this year. Okay, so we got 3.1 million views this year on shorts. Would you like to guess how much money I made off of 3.1 million views? Uh, 85 bucks. Oh, no, 213 pounds, actually. I know. Oh. Yeah, that's that's almost enough for a a daily wage in the UK. Almost minimum wage. Almost. Almost minimum wage. <laughs> and that's over your entire lifetime. Yeah. Okay, I think the server's actually up now. Yep, server's up. Is it? Yep. Okay, and they've got the password in as well. Fantastic, right. Could not establish network communication with the server. That's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, "Oh yeah, our server can handle anything. No problem. No problem. We'll have we'll have this." <laughs> they were like, "Oh, well, I, when I said, oh, we had we had big problems trying to run this on our end." They said, "No, no, our technology is way better than what you guys probably had a couple of years ago." I was like, mm, "Are you sh are you sure about that?" I mean, I don't doubt that it's good, but the issues we ran into weren't fixable. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't our end that was the problem. It was it was just the server itself. Right, I've I, there are 327 people already on the server, and every time I refresh, there's like another hundred more. Um, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna bugger off, Troop and Connor. I'll see you at the end of this nonsense. Yes. Um, yeah. Good take luck, care, everyone. Take good care, luck. everyone. Good luck. Don't Let's be lazy. Can... Don't be lazy. Work in the factories. Follow the blueprints. <clears throat> Except for me, I'm gonna be lazy. Uh, but chat, this could be the only time anyone ever breaks the world record that we just set. Um, this is going to be one hell of a time. Password doesn't work. Mm. The password is in their, on their website and stuff. So you can find it. Oh my goodness, this is good. This is a lot of people chat. Someone started a spoof server, filter for servers with password. Exactly, yes. Don't join the spoof server. 
I mean, you could, but it would probably just crash anyway. Um, Troopin will be angry. Troopin won't be angry. Troopin will be happy. I don't have the game. It's fine. Wait for a sale. Oh, wait. This game never goes on sale. <laughs> Genuinely, I think it's 647 players, allegedly. That's nice, Connor. I'd believe it if I could see it. Oh my god. I'm actually downloading the map. I never thought this moment would happen. Wow. It is actually occurring. And the map is being built. This is truly one of the moments of all time. Server is really struggling. I mean, yes. Uh, people are going to have to keep a live live count of how many players are in the game how much is this game i think it's like oh my god server is not responding already oh my god the the downloading of the map has ceased it has ceased <laughs> oh my god okay apparently there's a bottleneck on the players okay we broke the server i don't want to say that this could have been expected but um Yes. Uh, people are asking if this warrants a bug report. Um, yeah, hopefully... Uh, Hopefully, you know, we can get the developers to fix it. <laughs> Apparently there were 700 players on the server. It's it's madness that, uh, honestly, I'm disappointed that the Factorio devs did not, did not personally, um, did not personally, you know, actually uh, stress test their game enough to allow for 700 players. I think that's honest, that's their fault. That's their fault. Very disappointing. We. I guess I can browse public games and wait for it to go. Oh my god, some people have posted pictures of all of the players. There's a lot of them. There's a, there's a lot of players. Okay, I think the server might be up. Okay, I'm attempting a join. Let's see how it goes. Waiting for server to start saving. Waiting for server to send the map. Here we go. ETA on the map is five minutes. An estimated five minute wait time to download the, the map of the game. Uh... Some people are saying that their map download... Oh my god, the map download is climbing. It's climbing. Seven hours. Uh, two hours. Two hours ETA on the map download. Fif 40 minutes. 40 minutes to download the map. <laughs> okay, it's going down. 50 seconds. 50 seconds. Chat, have you guys got another 50, 50 hours for the stream? Because um, I've got I've to squeeze out this map somehow. Right, let's get, let's get the font going. Oh, I dropped out. Reconnect. Yes. In the mines. Oh. got the perfect song for this chat.
50 second ETA on it. Blue steel. <laughs> the children yearn for the vines. Reconnect. Reconnect to the vines. This is content chat. This is peak content. <laughs> oh my god. Do you need to play Madness one step beyond? I don't think... I, I am limited to Epidemic soundtracks, okay? Moisture is the essence of wetness, and wetness is the essence of moisture, chat. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh my god, maybe connecting, maybe connecting. Apparently the map is 1.6 megabytes, 1.7 megabytes. Here's the problem, the more people on the map, it increases the file size of the map, which then makes it harder to connect to the map because they place stuff. Oh my goodness. This is truly, definitely gameplay. I found one other mining gift, but the problem is it's anime, so I don't really know if I can use it. Oh my god, the poor server. I don't know if the poor server can survive what I'm doing to it. I really don't know if it can do it. Are we DDoSing the server? I mean, effectively we are. One terabyte map viable? Question <laughs> mark. We don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see if Diggy Diggy Hole is a gift I can use. I mean, come on, I, I basically own the rights to it. I can use it. I haven't really got a good gift for Diggy Diggy Hole, unfortunately. Server is not responding. Oops. God, this is definitely one of the, um, okay, apparently the server did die. Okay, apparently 800 players attempted to join at any one time. Oh, dear. One caller guy, thanks for the donation to say, um, we're not getting past the loading screen with this one, boys. Soon. Soon we will. Soon. Server has left the chat. Server will be back. We will reset. New password will be posted. We will limit download slots. There we go. They finally listened to me. They said... They said it would be easy. I told them. I told them it would be like this.
Okay, apparently the server is up. There's a lot of players waiting. Oh my god, they set a new password. 400 players waiting. Jesus Christ, chat. Message from Game Dev promote streamers to admin so they can join over the player limit. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I might be getting promoted to admin temporarily to bypass the wait limit. Oh dear. Maybe. There's a chance. It's nice that the game devs are currently watching at home. Oh my god, 500 people waiting to get in. Game devs, if, if this game can handle 500 players, it's one of the most stable multiplayer games of all time. Um, as someone who regularly hosts multiplayer games, take like Minecraft, okay? Minecraft dies if you put more than 150 players on a server. There are servers, of course, like say, Hypixel with like 10,000, but there's not actually 10,000 players on one server. There's 10,000 players, well, there's like 30 players on thousands of servers all kept separate from each other. This is not that case. Six hundred and sixty seven players waiting. This is like waiting in line for for like food. Waiting in line for food. <laughs> What's the correct term? Bread line, right? The line for bread. She maybe if I just search British Q in the gifts. <laughs> okay, right. I've gotten footage. We now go live to the server waiting queue. Any day now, chat. Any day now. <laughs> oh my god. This is uh, truly, truly incredible. We're literally, we're literally four players away from breaking 700 people waiting to join the server. 701 players waiting to join. Never in the history of Factorio. Never. Oh my goodness. This is history in the making, chat. Genuine history in the making. I mean, people, it's going down. The line is going down, which means people are joining eventually. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, 699 people waiting. How does it keep going? Oh, that is server history for short, yeah. Um, two world records in one night? It, it would seem the case. It would seem the case. Honestly, I thought, oh yeah, we'll get 500 players on a server. No, apparently we're going to get over 1,000. 1,000 players on a Factorio server. Oh my god, I think you need a bigger server. Yeah, let me just quickly Google how to download more RAM. How much How much dedicated tweeted RAM do we need to... Uh, Host a server. <laughs> oh dear. Poor server hamsters. Look, the server hamsters are currently on fire, being consumed by the grand, the grand server consumption force. Um, in order to like, in order to lay the groundwork for for the server, okay, we have to actually bulldoze seven hundred hamsters 
It, it has to be done. Gonna need to change the name of the server. Oh, of the live stream. Yeah, you're right. To 700 players. Jesus Christ. Hamptory is kill. Hamptory is kill. You're right, Sol. You're definitely right. <laughs> it was, thanks for also helping out with the speedrun earlier, Sol. It was nice to see your name in there. Okay, the server is growing. 707 players. 800 players now, apparently. Jesus Christ. Password, if you type exclamation mark join, it should give you the all of the details on how to join. Or you could just look in the live chat, they'll probably give you the password. Is Connor in? I don't think Connor is in. There is a way to get the streamers in ahead of the queue, but they just haven't put it in. Basically, they had to give us admin perms. This is um, actually quite incredible. <laughs> I think this kind of invalidates the speed road though, because um, there's so many people attempting to join right. There, there's, there will already be people playing the game at this moment in time. And we can drop into the front line and hear what the voice is like. But I imagine it's going to be quite incredibly loud. There's 33 people in there. There is an unknown amount of people in that one. Oh my god, someone is downloading the map. Uh, there, are, there are genuine screenshots of people downloading the map. It's happening. It is It is known. There's Science Team 2, Science Team 3. Um, spiffing Science and Power has 133 people in it. Let's just quickly drop in for a little bit of audio. It, oh. it, is it just red for Spiffing Power? It is absolutely happening. Well, Spiffing Science what? also. Hello, how are we all spiffing doing? Spiffing Science is right red. to the north. Yeah, just go north. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'll do that. Hey, what's up, Half? Yeah, this is the power, this is the science, I think. <laughs> this is the power, this is the science, I love it. So there are people on the server and they are currently constructing. That's actually incredible. That's, that's phenomenal. Yeah, does this time count to the record? Oh, I don't know, let me get the timer running. Alright, we got the timer running, one cooler guy. We just have to beat our own time. Of 47 minutes with the with the power of funk oh well there's a song called fight club up let me grab this oh yes oh oh my god oh, oh my goodness Phenomenal. <laughs> okay, that's too much funk music for my little brain. My little brain can't handle this continuously. Um, I feel like we will join at 46 minutes. I mean, if we join literally as the speedrun ends, that would be bloody hilarious because we still get the record okay i was still there i still took part this is the world record for the longest queue in a video game i don't know were you guys there for the launch of um god what was it the um 
the World of Warcraft DLC, like when it launched, or like well, WoW Classic. I think that had like queues that lasted for days, almost genuine like hours and hours and hours of queues. The problem is when a queue in a game is so high, people stop queuing and well they keep queuing but they go and do something else which basically means their character gets into the game say an hour later but doesn't do anything and just basically clogs up the server for everyone else Diablo 3, yeah Diablo 3 had big queues I remember uh, elevator music playlist where it's just epidemic sound searching for funk oh there's one called Supra is this Oh. oh wait, no, there's one called Ballin' Like. Ballin' Like, oh. You know it's gotta be good when it's called Ballin' Like. There's another one called Money and Power. Oh. All of these songs are so wonderfully cringy. Like one's called Rather Be Alone, and there's another one called Sledgehammers. You know you're in for a good song when it's called Sledgehammers. Violets are blue, roses are red. See history in the making, the server is dead. The server is, is still thriving. It's still growing. Okay. Someone apparently did join. Okay, this, there are people joining. However, it is an arduous process. A very arduous process. Zombie server? No, the server is con it's growing. Apparently, there's a, there's a there's over a hundred people on the server actually in game at the moment. I mean, this process should speed up when the people with pleb internet get out of the way of someone like me with premium internet. This song is making me see 15 seconds into the future. That's the power of a song called Ballin' Like. Um, alternatively, there's a song called Money Power. So this will make you feel wealthy, I imagine. Oh. oh, yes. All I want is money power. Phenomenal. Oh, I listen to this every time when I organize a new sponsor. <laughs> this music is so bad. It's so bad. How was your bread? My bread was amazing. How to turn your computer into a star? Look. It look, if the if the Earth's sun starts losing warmth, we just hook it up as a Factorio server. Add some heat back into that bad boy, no problem. All I want is monkey powers. <laughs> All I want is monkey powers. <laughs> Me when I'm playing um, Donkey Kong. <laughs> I crave the monkey powers. Give me the ability to throw a barrel slightly further than most human beings can throw a barrel. Oh dear. Okay, right. I'm negotiating with the admin team to give me a uh, give me admin perm so I can just join faster. Let the cringy music flow through you. I mean, I could actually search. Well, what is the most cringe form of music? I could search for cringe music. Okay, if I just type cringe, what do I get? That's not really cringy. What about this? Oh. Hello guys, welcome back to my Minecraft Episode 1 Let's Play. Today we're going to be playing some Minecraft with my friends. Oh no, unfortunately none of my friends want to play Minecraft with me today. But 
if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Oh. And that was basically all of YouTube in 2013. Uh, well, maybe 2011. Factorio Q is waiting for Chairman Meow to finish Skyrim. Look, one cool, one, one, one sec old vids. You confuse me with one cooler guy. I think that happened earlier as well. Um, no, it didn't. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, look, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. Forget cringe music, go all out Venetian snare. I mean, I'll search for Venetian, but I don't know if I'll get particularly Venetian. Oh, there's a song called Venetian Blinds. Eh. Mm, doesn't sound pretty good. Venetian Gondola song, however. Oh, yes. Yes. Splendid. Alternatively, Mongolian throat singing. Or at least I hope it's Mongolian throat singing. I've just typed in Mongolian throat. And I hope... Is this, is this throat singing? This doesn't seem like Mongolian throat singing to me. No, that's not Mongolian throat singing. I've been lied to. Been lied to, I tell you. Oh, well. Um, do, 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 do. Spiff play ABBA? I don't hold the rights to ABBA or the Who. That's called copyright claim. Are you going to play From the Depths? N no. I like From the Depths, but it's not a very... It's not a game that translates well to content creation. I like watching other people play it, though. That is not cringy. Look, I'm trying, okay? I'm trying. It's hard to find cringy songs. Mm, pop? Okay, there can be some funny stuff in pop. This is called We Rebound. When you're not here Okay. Life is insufferable. Oh. Don't be a stranger, even oh. though he said pause. Oh. Darling, I feel oh. pause is impossible. Oh. The sound you oh. love around no matter oh. that car. Uh, did I add to that? I feel like I added to that. Crab Brave? I don't know the IP to Crab Brave. <laughs> Search. What? Okay, let me see if I can type this in. This is actually a search. This is a genre. Oh my god! Yo! Okay, this this genre is called Sherlager. Sh it's. It's grooving! This is the perfect kind of song to cue to. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Wow. What a bop. It do just be vibing. Endless vibing. Oh, God, doesn't it just feel amazing? So good to be alive. Okay, apparently. You know, that's a new genre of music I'd never heard of. Throat goat music, I don't know, own the right side. Diggy diggy hole, please. I can't, I can't type in diggy diggy hole, because the problem is, even though the Yogg's cast own it right, if I, if I do anything with diggy diggy hole, because Windrose did a cover of it, their licensing label just copyright claims everything that's not Windrose, which, as you can imagine, is pretty annoying, despite the fact that you're the copyright holder. Well... I'm not the copyright holder, but I have the I have the ability to play the song. I just don't want to get copyright claimed on this live stream. Thank you. Oh, 
Euro Disco. God, Eurotech is one of the most unique. Like Euro Beats. Oh wow, one of one of the one of the bops. Is this a Euro Beat? This doesn't seem like a Euro Beat. Mm, no, no, that's not Euro Beat. That's also not Euro Beat. None of these are particularly good Euro Beats. A proper Euro Beat has to be something iconic, like. Like blue dabba dee dabba da. Yoshi's Island DS OST is so bad. Try that. The problem is, Nintendo, famously not the most friendly when it comes to music licensing. Uh, just if you guys didn't know that, um, yeah, little bit, little bit powerful. Okay, I have a live picture update of what the dis what the server actually looks like. Saving it now for you all. Here is the live update of the mini map on the server. I say live update, it's a static image, but that that is what the internal of the server currently looks like. They have actually built the the belt networks as needed. This does look like a potential run of, of Factorio. Trippin asks if you put milk in your tea. I sometimes do, yes. I sometimes do. There's at least 10 Nintendo lawyers in chat right now. That's the thing about Nintendo. If you're an up-and-coming streamer, right, and you just want some numbers for your viewers, just play any Nintendo IP or talk about Nintendo. They'll be watching. They'll be watching you. The Nintendo is always watching you. It might not appear as viewership numbers, but they're there. They're always aware. Play something older than 150 years. I don't think we have... Oh, yes. Yes, I guess we could get Mickey Mouse right. I'm very excitedly looking forward to when the Mickey Mouse IP completely goes. And then everyone... We can start making Mickey Mouse content on this channel. We can we can really lean into that. Just become an entirely Mickey Mouse-based co content farm. This is the future. What are the Walt Disney Corp going to do? They can't stop me. I can do whatever I like. I'm a god. Finally, you can make copyright legal Rule 34 Mickey Mouse content and sell it without any potential legal repercussions. Oh, my dad works for Nintendo. Oh, well, if your dad works for Nintendo and he says I can I can uh, do whatever I like, then that's fine. I, I'll believe you. The spiffing mouse, exactly. Well, it's more just, I guess, um, if we wanted to say have something to represent American viewers, we could have Mickey Mouse. Like we could say, strap Mickey Mouse to a boat with a bunch of plastic explosives and then just sail it out into the sea and detonate it. I feel like the the Disney Corporation would normally have an issue with that because you know it might upset the children. But you know, I'm doing it with Mickey Mouse, who they don't hold the rights to anymore. If I did it with Elsa, sure they could. They could probably get you, but it's like how, you know, you're not allowed to have um, Spider-Man on a gravestone because uh, it might upset children. Well, children might think Spider-Man is dead, so yeah, you're not legally allowed to have Spider-Man on a gravestone. Why don't we just um, just put a bunch of Mickey Mouses on gravestones? You can do it. Mickey Mouse is a trademark. Okay, it's the character. Uh, you're fine. You know what I mean. It's the It's the mouse character. Oh. All right. 554 players. Jesus Christ. I mean the queue's down to 543, which isn't bad. This is this is progress. Oh, uh Troopin is saying do you want to join me in VC? I'm with Factorio Dev. Yeah, I, why don't we have a chat with the developer of Factorio? Well, one of the developers of Factorio. That would be lovely. Ah. Can you play Dagoff Wave? I don't hold the rights to the wonderful um, Oblivion songs, unfortunately. I wish I did because they're good. I mean, I could probably ask, but as I haven't asked, I'm not. 
I'm not willing to do that. I know retroactively they'd probably be like, sure, no problem, but when you're gonna when you're gonna borrow someone else's content, it's good to ask first. It's nice. Very nice. Alright. Troopin. Is he in a VC I can join? Do 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 do. Um I mean I guess I can check the uh the Discord in particular. Right. Is he in no, I don't think he'll be in the hidden YouTuber secret Discord. Unless How long have you tried to join the server as the timer has not started from the beginning? Um, I guess, yeah, I guess we've been trying to join the server for about 22 minutes now. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, it's apparently going down. It's going down. And the thing is, there's probably only about 100 players ahead of me. So I reckon that's only that's only a few minutes. That's only a few minutes. We, we, can, we can do this. We'll get in. Oh. It's in the super secret Discord. Of course, it's in the super secret Discord. It's always in the super secret. No, it it can't be in the super secret Discord. Let me check. I'm checking, but no, it's not in any of those. Uh, where is where is the? Oh, there it is. No, it's not in this one. By the way, the super secret Discord is literally called a super secret server. It's just um, it's just uh. Oh my god! Right here we go. Hello. Hello. Good day, sir. Good Hello. evening. Good evening, Twinson. I mean, what time is it for you currently? Oh, it's 1.23 uh, a.m. And uh, it is very late. <laughs> and and what, are you, what are you doing online? What, is, what has summoned you into this realm of our knowledge? Well, I've, I've heard there's interesting stuff happening, so couldn't resist not joining. Oh. Think... Very early on, I was the one who organized maybe the first attempt at an MMO <laughs> in Factorio. Wow. And ever since people tried to join it, I kept joining them. So I guess I need to stick to tradition and join this one too. It is it is very traditional that, yes, you must be here. So, I mean, did you see the run we did before this attempt here? I was in it. I was there uh, oh my mining coal in the, <laughs> in the in the power team. Doing oh. your part. Yes, exactly. Doing my part. Everyone has to do their part. For the machine. For the factory. And and of course for your upper management staff, myself and Troopin. Um we require this. <laughs> I was doing my part. You were doing your part, yes. Oh dear. Are you still waiting in the queue? I am, yeah. Is this... Oh, you're actually in the server. Wow. I've been in the server for quite a while. Were you early in the queue then? I I guess so. I probably just clicked it at the right time before 500, 700 people. <laughs> uh, the queue was quite slow in the beginning, but I, they they increased the upload speed. So it's mm. it's going up fast. It's We're at 371 players now. Wow. Hopefully okay. you will. If you remember um, what your you I'm count in. was. Oh my god, I'm actually in. <laughs> nice. oh. oh my god. It only took me 24-ish minutes, but I'm actually in the server. I think I'm stuck in... Oh my god, is the server crashing up? I'm in. Okay, right, I'm moving. Holy moly. Right, how are we doing in terms of the speed run? We're, we're like almost on track, right? We're almost on pace. I have no idea. I was playing and then Trupen uh, took me in his call and then I had to entertain his viewers. So I have no idea what's going on anymore. I started asking questions about the expansion. Spiff, maybe you have some questions about the expansion. Oh, no. oh the expansion of Factorio. Yeah. Yeah, when are you going to add the... I, um... I already confirmed the release date to Trupen's viewers, so... Okay, well, I mean, I've, I was doing some research. I don't suppose you've seen um, Cult of the Lamb. Have you have you seen that game at all? I heard about it, but uh, I don't know much about it. Okay, well, famously, they, they had a lot of publicity on their um, their Twitter account recently because um, 
as as a joke, one of their community managing interns said, "If this post gets three hundred thousand likes, we'll add the sex update to the game." Um, now, I mean, I'm just saying. It's entirely possible you guys could get 300,000 likes on Twitter. I don't know what the sex update would add to Factorio, but there would be demand for it, I'm sure, <laughs> with the internet. It, <laughs> it's just... funny that uh, Drupan asked me exactly the same thing somehow. <laughs> Seriously? Because this is about the same story. <laughs> oh my All god. Right. Yeah, it got so huge, so viral. I think they got like 300,000 uh, uh, new followers, like this yeah. so huge viral action. Now, just think about what that could do for Factorio. And then after that, after everyone buys the game and you become the best selling game of Steam of all time, then you finally put the game on sale, but only after the entire universe has already owned the game. That's, that's my big plan. Sounds perfectly reasonable. <laughs> I mean... Uh? If if the entire universe already owns the game, then there's no one else to buy it. Ah, uh, well, this is where you can take a leaf out of Todd Howard's book, because you can release the Factorio Remastered Edition and the oh, Factorio no. Anniversary <laughs> Edition. Think about what and, that And uh, Factorio on smart fridges? I mean, I own a smart fridge, so if you want me to be part of the beta testing, um, <laughs> I'll more than happily test out Factorio Smart Fridge Edition. O only if you stream it, we need to... Of course, of course, it has to be live tested. <laughs> and you can see all of the gallons of milk I keep in my fridge so that I can make tea. Continuous. Oh yeah, I, I was What's about the, yeah. to ask, uh, do you put milk in your tea? I, I generally do, I would say about 80% of my teas have milk in. I'm afraid this is where I have to leave the call. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this was the big problem for me. Whenever I go over to Europe, and like I do go to Europe quite a lot, especially Germany. Germany is really big on fruit teas. And yeah, when you ask for like a tea, they kind of like stare at you and then they try and work out like which country you're from before they gauge which kind of tea to give you. If they think you're American, and sometimes Germans will be like, ah, he's probably American. They'll give you Earl Grey, and it's like, I don't want Earl Grey. Jeez, give me English breakfast. So what is your what is your tea of choice then? Oh, I'm not really a tea drinker. Get the heck out of this live chat. What the hell? <laughs> the hell? I'm going to have words with the management team of the Factorio staff. Oh my god. How could you? I mean, it's probably I'd, a coffee drinker. I'd say no, I'd not, words if I could even I, pronounce I'm more any of a... the names of the the founders. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm definitely more of a tea drinker than a coffee drinker, so I guess I have that going for me. Good. That's good. Oh. What, what was it like um, joining the Factorio team, if you don't mind me asking? It was uh, quite an interesting story, actually. Ooh. I don't know. Ooh. Uh, so I'm Romanian, yeah? Mm -hmm. yep. And I was uh, working as a pretty small game dev there mm -hmm. and I saw this game Factorio well some co-worker recommended it to me and because um, I was talking about <coughs> open TTD all the time ah. it's like open TTD is so good and so great and it's like maybe you should try this game and it was only on the website not very few people knew about it then and um, I tried it it was like probably 11 p.m. or something like that and I'm like yeah I'll, I'll just try it for a bit and then go to sleep try it for an hour and then go to sleep and of course it was four in the morning <laughs> and I was still not <laughs> going to sleep this was around <laughs> this is around version 0 11 around eight years ago or wow. something like that yeah I remember playing that was, and yeah, uh, it's crazy long time ago times. And uh, yeah, I was at work and I was like, man, it would be nice to work for these guys. Um, and I started reading Friday Facts and in Friday Facts, it's like, oh, we're hiring, by the way. And I'm like, hmm, maybe I should consider it. I like money <laughs> and I like Factorio. <laughs> what a great combination. <laughs> oh. Well, money wasn't, uh, it was still quite early on, so yeah. it wasn't doing that great 
No, it, um, it's quite rough to break into like into into Steam. I mean, especially when you think about how many other factory like games there are that you know have incredible reviews, but. Uh, sat around one percent of or of the player cap, and even that can be deemed a success. It's yeah, very very unexpected what happened with Factorio. Yeah. Well, you fun. also make your own luck, so. You do definitely, and. Uh, there's yeah. there's a luck, there's a skill, there's a intuition, there's a bit of everything. And it's very rare that you get a collision of all of them at the same time, which is what makes a game like this so special. I think. To, like because it is pretty much a true indie experience um, but yeah uh, anyway I wanted to go back to, because you said Transport Tycoon Deluxe did you see that we turned Open TTD into an MMO oh I missed that one I think so basically, how did what? that work out we, well the problem with Open TTD is it limits the amount of players you can have on a server to 16 because the game only has 16 colors um, so it doesn't let you go beyond that uh, for multiplayer companies, basically, like you could have three hundred players on a server, but they'd all be in sixteen different companies. So we turned the game into a battle royale and basically re elevated the cap up to about two hundred and fifty players, and they could all have two hundred and fifty different companies. And you could buy shares in each other's companies. And if you bought out ninety percent of the shares of someone else's company, they just were deleted from the game completely. Um, so yeah, we created a battle royale of Open TTD. Um, it was quite the experience. It was actually won by the only YouTuber who was an open TTD YouTuber called Master Hellish. Um, it was a, one hell of a tournament. Sounds crazy. It was. It was very crazy. What was even crazy, it, has, it also has a unique hiring story. The man working on it was a Ukrainian. And just a week before we said, right, we're going to go and do this, he was drafted. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He's he's still he's still around and active, but unfortunately he can't work on the project much at the moment. But yeah, it is uh, it's one of those things. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, right. Um, oh, I, I feel like the server is starting to struggle. What do you mean? It's, it's four hundred eighty-two players in. in. I, I see you are in. Trupen isn't in yet. Yeah, I'm in the queue. The highest we got up to, Connor, if you could correct me, I think the highest we got up to when we streamed this a couple of years back was 420 something. I could be wrong though. So breaking new records. Yeah, I think breaking breaking new records. I mean, I don't know if I set the record. Maybe someone set it higher than me. I'd be surprised if they did. But I've definitely never seen 700 people queue to join a Factorio server before. Uh, yeah, I where's think it's the record? Where did these people come from? Because um, we come... didn't have them in the first two runs, so they joined the third run. Yeah, so we wouldn't let these people into the first two runs because A, server stability issues, and B, when you have this many players, it's kind of impossible for there not to be a griefer amongst them, and yep. it would just be too complicated to moderate. I mean, that was the issue with the first run, unfortunately, but the second run was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, we just had to give a few bounds, and the second run was good. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised by how successful this this round is going because there is actually there's a lot of construction being done. And I think the factory has almost been completely mapped out, even if it is slightly slower than normal. Factorio Wait. time says 36 minutes, but I... yeah, 36 minutes in game. Wait, I'm in a queue for like almost 40 minutes. Yeah, well, the server's been going for 36 minutes, apparently. That was when the first like iron ore was created. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. This is, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Just watching the live, live production chains. To think that there's literally like, there's... 5,000, uh, there's 1,000 iron plates being made per second in this server currently. And the server's only been up for 30 minutes. Um, so I'm very, very, very pleased with this. Oh. Yeah, when you look at the production, it's going so quickly up. Yeah, it is just exponential growth, which who doesn't love watching that? Line going up. <laughs> the numbers and lines going up. 
it's, just, it's the one thing that makes me happy. That's all. That that's the one thing you need to know about being a YouTuber. If the line goes off, <laughs> happy. If line goes sad, everything's over. the The world is coming to an end. And you start taking Raid Shadow Legends deals. This is the way. <laughs> oh. I... Troopin, have you ever taken a Raid Shadow Legends deal? <laughs> no, I have not yet. The, it will, it's it's inevitable. I, I intend <laughs> to do that as my last video ever, if Raid Shadow Legends is still going. I just want to have an entire video dedicated to Raid Shadow Legends, and then I retire into the void. And that'll be my last, last scratch on the internet. Hmm. The, the great best. ending. <laughs> yeah. There was a very good video of talking about uh, this monetization, this bad monetization in games and gacha games and all how bad they are. And then he was like, this video is sponsored by Raid <laughs> Shadow <laughs> Legends. <laughs> and everybody was like, GG, man. Good job. You got the sponsorship. From oh my god. So I almost had a similar situation, kind of, where um, there, there's a War <clears throat> Fund... I, I, I used to play a lot of War Thunder, right? And War Thunder made a game called Enlisted, which is kind of like FPS version of War Thunder. It, it's quite fun. Uh, and I played a bunch of it. And I was like, do you guys want to sponsor me for a video? And they were like, sure, what's your idea? And I said, okay, I would like to do a video which is, is pay to win overpowered, where I find a pro Quake player and I get them to play against me, but I have all of the premium gear unlocked and they don't. Um, and they were like, sure, yeah, that sounds like a fun idea for a video. And then I made it. And uh, we were like a week away from the designated upload day. And I sent it in for review and they were like, yeah, this looks good. Uh, no problem. Yeah, you'll be fine for next week. And then the day after they said, okay, we've just shown it to some executives. I'm afraid we, we can't do this deal anymore. And it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Guys, we made you the video that you asked for. <laughs> <sighs> yeah like this is the worst when you make already the video everything is fine and then you get the message <laughs> that no delete that actually actually we've suddenly realized that the entire concept of this was was too on the nose oh dear i mean they still let us put out the video we just had to get find a different sponsor for it but it is what it is oh. this run is going to be over before everyone gets in it's entirely possible. Troopin, this run could be over before you load the server. <laughs> I think so. Are How you many still people? In the queue? Yes. 300 oh, wow. more people. We're on chemical science packs currently. That's what we've just researched. Um, advanced electro electronics is being researched pretty swiftly. Then low density structure, then utility science pack, lab research upgrade, rocket fuel. This one is actually going quite fast. It's taken a while to get going, but now that it's going, it is going. It is actually speeding along. Yeah, maybe I cannot join it. <laughs> oh, jeez. So many people catching up. There's people making Well, uh, you, you have time to plan everything out. Once you go in, everything's going to change. You're, you're going to make you're going to make a difference. <laughs> if you could mind that <laughs> one rock that makes a difference. Cut that one tree that was in the way. Anything's possible. That one iron that made that one circuit produce three ticks faster, which made that rocket control unit. <laughs> Is there an exact figure on the exact amount of resources necessary to build the rocket? I will be the guy who's gonna build the rocket. Because, like, there has to be a fixed number, right? Like, the exact amount of iron plates, copper, or, well, the exact amount of iron or copper or water coal like there must be an exact figure of the most efficient quantity of resources necessary to build the rocket right yes well there's the total raw in the is that a thing tooltip yeah Ooh. Ooh. in the tooltip something tells me i'm not going to be able to find the tooltip though no i can't but it's not researched yet, uh, so. you have to research this first so go to the research and then look for it. Uh, but the total raw doesn't show there. All right. Yeah, there's the total raw for the rocket oh. silo. I'm catching up. You're catching up. Oh boy. I'm going to join this. Oh my god, he's in. He's, he's loading in. I'm in. I'm loading. It's happening. Wow. 
So it's it's a sure new record this time. For now? sure, definitely new record for Troopin, because Troopin now starts his clock. So for Troopin, the <laughs> run is only one minute long so far. I'm still catching up. <laughs> <laughs> the time is not running yet. Apparently someone has a car. Why do we have a car? That's not optimal. You don't need a car. Right? I don't think the car is even part of this research tree. Necessary. No, you don't need a car. But you need an oh. engine, and the research for car is close by. Yeah. I think what might be happening is... Uh, okay, no, we don't have a car. I'm in! S server is struggling, so actually we're not running at full 60 UPS. Ah, which means on the we're able to make sub-tick progress, right? So we might be able to yes. overtake, overtake the no, no, game, the... right? Logically. No, what it means is that uh, things move a little bit slower. So if the speed run is counted in real time, it uh, won't. Yeah, I'm definitely getting getting physical lag. I mean, my character looks like they're moving through treacle currently. Yeah, it doesn't feel like 60 UPS is. Is this one worthy of a bug report um, for the team? I personally think, you know, I was promised that Factorio, on the Steam page, Factorio multiplayer would work and it would be stable. But I'm noticing that I'm not really getting an optimal 60 FPS at the moment. Yeah, I think something is wrong. Do you have any, any comments at all? I mean, any words you do say may or may not end up in a PC Gamer article. Uh, so please. Have, have you considered turning the server off and on again? Oh, we could do that. Ooh. That might. <laughs> I think that's gonna fix it. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What is the time? Forty-two minutes, <laughs> 42 minutes. <laughs> and I'm just joined. It's okay. Forty-two minutes. So we've got um, four minutes to build and launch a rocket. Any moment now. Yeah, it's gonna be a world record for me. <laughs> Little personal world record. I think you have to be for 50% of the total game time to get the achievements for winning. Is that generally true? You need to be there for 50% of the time? Uh, yes. Okay. And just to double check, the achievement so long and thanks for all the fish, is that literally put a fish on a rocket and launch it to space? Yes, yes, it is. Do you why want to didn't do it? we? Why didn't we do that in the official speed run? Uh, we can. You just have to bring the fish, put it inside, and yeah. Oh didn't goodness. you have an inventory full of fish last run? I did. Yeah, I had several hundred <laughs> fish in my inventory. You totally missed your opportunity there. I well, no one was allowed near the rocket for the official launch. You see, that was the problem. I guess you can get special privilege. Ah, pff, I don't know if, they, if they'll if they give me special privilege. The shareholders are a, 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 a violent bunch um, of the factory, of course. And whilst I might be the CEO, I'm, I'm not immune to the whims of the the uh, the shareholders, <laughs> a.k.a. the server The, the corporate machine. Yes, we're all just cogs at the end of the day, or in your case, a, a circuit board, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> One... Iron plate. <laughs> One iron plate. In the... You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a single iron plate. That's going to be my production. All right, let me get your uh, your spawn inventory comes with six. So it's six iron plate. Eight iron plate. Okay. Well, eight. I'm going to make an iron plate, and that's going to be my contribution to this lovely world. All right. So iron ore in. Add some coal. Forty percent of the way there. Sixty percent of the way there. I made nine plate. There we go. You are doing your part. I'm doing my part, and I'm going to put it into an assembling machine. There we go. I've added my own plate in, and I have just added 0.0000001% of the rocket. Amazing. What if all that time saved uh, oh dear, was... I can uh... no longer go left and right. Okay, it's because the server was saving the map. 
<laughs> oh yeah, something is wrong. <laughs> something is wrong. Gone. Oh no. Oh no. I can't move. <laughs> People are still joining, but yeah, movement functions have been removed. People are still moving though. Like there's a couple of people on um on on the wiggly oh. roundabouts. Like there's a train no, moving. Working. What the hell was that? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. That was scary. Because the assemblers was working, like nothing happened. Yeah. This is truly one of one of the gameplay experiences of all time. Yeah, the quality gameplay. Five hundred seventy-two players. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not bad at all, is it? Not bad at all. Well, let me reset these filters. I, I'm not sure what the world record is. I would imagine it's this. I doubt anyone's gotten close to this before. Did we just set two world records? In the... Yeah, I think we have genuinely set two world records tonight, which is pretty impressive. Does not really yeah, get much better than that. It's just a spiffing breed thing. To come to the game, set up the world records, and then nobody can fight with that. That's <laughs> Look, that's the way you play the game, okay? You come in, you ruin it for everyone else, and then you say, bye-bye, enjoy the game now. Which, to be honest, is like half my videos, because they're spent like... Finding a game that people have enjoyed, gone, well, if you played it this way, it's actually way easier. And then you can never look at the game again in the same way. Also, Troopin, weren't you the one who found, like, the weird cheesy thing with the um, train carts? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, who was it? I mean, which one? Need... There's so many cheesy things yeah. with train cars. <laughs> okay. I you know have to be like... more specific. Okay. Um, the, as far as I'm aware, the big one is like the weird storage throughput benefits. If I'm correct. Uh, like using it as a storage or. Is or yeah. Some items? Maybe. I'm unsure. All I've done is I've seen I've seen online communication about it, right? But you have to remember I'm still an un, I'm still an uncultured swine, so um, yes, maybe. I mean, something like this is a well-known uh, trick. Like when you look at the rocket and mm -hmm. look more to the bottom, there are yeah. trains. Yes. And yeah, there are filters inserters that are filtering stuff from the trains, and you can also reserve the the slots inside the train so yeah i see just... so it's like a filtering system uh yes yes it is okay that makes sense that makes some sense yes who knew there were multiple train based advantages the the other trick i know of is that train cars are the fastest mode of travel in um factorio but not in the way you would think of if you arrange them in a very specific way uh, and you hold the enter key or you spam it very fast, you end up moving very fast because you exit a car and enter the next one and exit and oh, enter. Oh, so it's, yeah, you like chain through. Okay, yes. yes. Yeah, that's a, that's a classic exploit. We like those. Those are fun. <laughs> but it's actually better for the silo because silo is bigger. So you can uh, jump into the silo and exit the silo on the other side and then join another si silo and like leap from one to another so this is even faster oh my god the silo maybe Jeez. you guys comparing speedrunning tactics in a speedrun <laughs> where it makes no efficiency sense to do that um i mean although actually surely the fastest way to move is in the upcoming space dlc where you go to space indeed there we go it's been updated. <laughs> Unless I'm wrong. I don't know. That DLC hasn't isn't out yet, so... Mm. If only we had a date for when it was coming out, if only. Yeah, he was talking something about the date. 25 or of something? 25, 25 of something. 25 of December. Oh my god, Christmas Day Factorio update. Oh, Wait, what? All of those families... I didn't say that. All of those <laughs> families crushed, where it's like... Daddy, can I open my present? It's like, no, Daddy needs to build a factory. I'm sorry. I'll get, I'll get to you later, child. <laughs> the Daddy, needs, Daddy needs to go to the planet. 
the minds, they yearn, <laughs> and the voices. Oh dear. All right. Okay. I think we are we are officially beyond where the last speed run was because the last speed run was forty seven minutes. I think the server's been up for forty eight minutes. So we're now in overtime, but we are researching rocket silo, which is kind of impressive. Yeah. So we are on a good path to finish it. 647 players apparently <clears throat> six just 600 online 600 online jeez 650 is the uh, total amount of players that joined I see. like the number of accounts the number of accounts oh my goodness unique there's apparently 200 <coughs> people still in the queue jesus that's, that's the live queue update uh, here's a comment if you want to check how many people are there. Yeah, I think the server is struggling with this many people. Yes. Yeah, I can feel the slow motion when I'm moving. <laughs> no, no. If it's you fine. the frames are the frames are good. Oh, just just as you said it. It's <laughs> frames are bad. Happened. <laughs> frames are very bad. Oh, yeah, this is like, mm, really dense sludge, is how I would describe the current movement. I mean, the frames uh, in Factorio, you have frames and UPSs, updates per second. So yeah. frames can be good, but when UPSs are bad, then you have a lag like, and everything slow down. Yeah, if you open the debug settings and select show multiplayer waiting icon every time that clock appears on the screen that's one skipped tick oh my god Be there is a lot of that clock <laughs> yes so the game is i think running at half speed at this point even though your ups counter is saying 60 it's lying uh, to you it's yeah it's not really <laughs> correct well maybe that's Be one for the devs to fix you know because it's counting the skip ticks too. Ah, that's pretty funny. I like that. That's a that's a nice that's a nice funny problem to have. God, there's just a lot of players spinning around on a turntable next to where the rocket's gonna go. If this rocket launches, this will be the most people on a server when a rocket launched by quite a mile. Because when we when we had this many players on a server last time, like four hundred we did not get close to getting a rocket up. You have to have a plan. Like on multiplayer, there's a rule in Factorio. When there is a blueprint of something, somebody gonna build it. So you just have to have a good blueprint. Yeah. But I hate following the blueprints. I like freedom. Freedom to make mistakes. Because <sighs> oh. I'll make a lot of them. Freedom is not efficient. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Freedom is not efficient. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, it's actually incredible that there is so many people and they can still understand what, what they are doing. Like, it yeah. would be not be possible without the blueprints. 100%. 100%. You also have the, the voice chats. Oh, yeah, sure. There's hundreds of people in the voice chats. Yeah, and I'm sure they're, they're communicating with each other. Um, in fact, I could jump into one right now, and I could guarantee you all I'm going to hear is probably Eurobeat or someone just screaming um, <coughs> at the top of their lungs. <laughs> nah, it yes. was pretty good. Last, last run, I was in the power team, and there was a lot of coordination. Constantly oh, monitoring the power, building it, I um, think it depends prioritizing. How, how big is the team? Like the bigger the team, the more chaos it, it is. Yeah. Yes. Well, there, there were a lot of uh, points where someone had to say, "Can can just the person who needs to talk talk?" Yeah, I I you know I enjoy doing that in a video game when there's other people, and I just get to tell them to be quiet. That makes me happy. <laughs> you feel the power. I feel the true power. I know I have. Oh, there's so many lovely Among Us blueprints being placed everywhere. 
So you were saying how if the blueprint gets placed, you need to actually fill it out because there's a lot of Among Us blueprints I'm seeing you haven't filled out yet, Troopin. Are you telling me that I have to fill up the Among Us blueprints? Yes, all of them. Please, thank uh, you. But there is a lot of them. There's a lot. Yeah, well, you've, you've got to get filling them, Troopin, okay? I don't make the rules. You make the rules. I, so you're not... I gonna you know the rules, dead. and so do I. <laughs> well, I would say the Chaos Run has gone surprisingly well. Um, we're relatively close to the rocket silo being built. Yeah, it's way better than I thought. I was expecting it's... a lot of griefing and chaos everywhere, but we are doing some progress. Yeah, good progress has been made. Like, we've definitely produced a lot of the modules necessary. Um, it's going relatively well. If the rocket takes off or not, I have no idea. It's entirely possible we might have to just take the rocket silo to a different part of the map and launch it before anyone can get to that, <laughs> get to the rocket. <laughs> I would just build a long train line out to the silo. Well, then I guess we need power. Oh, dear. The challenges there's so many people in the middle i think it's impossible to place the rocket silo i agree i think the same there's too many of them yeah i i had this problem when the first run someone um, mined the silo so then i took the silo from his inventory after he got banned <laughs> and i was trying to place it and Jesus, there was no way to place it because there was always someone in the way. Yeah, the the blueprint has been placed, but there is currently a lot of stuff in the way of, of it being placed. Jesus Christ, the fresh hell that is this... <laughs> this chaos. This brave, brave person in chat saying clear the area. Yep, that's going to... That's going to happen any day now. <laughs> any day now they're going to be clearing that area. <laughs> Just waiting for the the correct moment to clear the area. <laughs> My God! <laughs> oh my God! Do you have Six. the fish ready for the rocket, just in case? Uh, I haven't got any fish in my inventory. I don't think. Um, Ooh. Your viewers have been it. slacking. Mm, let me check. Okay, no, sorry. I've got a hundred and forty fish in my inventory for the fish rocket. <laughs> <laughs> that means you're ready. Right. Well, um, I mean, logically, they have to they have to pick up the rocket silo, right? And and put it somewhere else. My question is, like, who is the person running away with the rocket silo and all of the parts? I don't think it's gonna be possible <laughs> because you have to take all of the parts. You have to have modules and electricity. No way, it's gonna work. Oh my god. We can just agree to shoot anyone who's in the middle. Yeah, but yeah, then they just respawn though. Then, so we have to shoot them with a ban hammer. This will be the solution. Ah. You can just kick them, they're not gonna join today. <laughs> That's true. Uh, sure. <laughs> you can spend another 10 minutes in the queue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've researched military too, because you know, evidently we're gonna need that to clear out the sport area. <laughs> oh god! Maybe military four is what we need. Oh, there's, there's so many dots teams. on the map. <laughs> Whoa. I just. My brain. Clear the fish rocket zone. Yep. It definitely, definitely that's going to happen. That's definitely going to happen. <laughs> oh, dear. This is truly incredible. Wait, what we are missing? We are missing the concrete to make the rocket silo. Is that generally all we're missing? Yes. How do we... Has anyone been making concrete? Let me check the production statistics. You can see here is the crafter. Wait, can I ping? No, I, I can, cannot ping. I can no longer open up the production statistics. It's... Ah. The game's frozen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the server I mean, is the frozen. input is frozen. 
Someone just got kicked. This this is the uh, this is the future. Okay, right here we go. Somebody took all of the beacons from the area. This is truly one of one of the factorios of all time. <laughs> Trying to place a rocket. If the server bans are permanent across resets, then eventually all the griefers will be gone, but it might take a few months. <laughs> oh dear. Wait, are we running low on electricity? Okay, apparently they're going to kick anyone near the silo. They're going to pause the server and kick everyone who's near the silo. That actually could work. Yeah, this sounds like the solution. This could but there is still so many people. Um, electricity update. I don't know. I don't know if there is electricity currently reaching that point. I think there is. I mean, we have electricity, but the power poles got destroyed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think they're connected. The big problem with kicking the people, when they take the stuff, it's getting kicked with them. So yeah. when somebody You can still the... open the character as an admin. Oh yeah, sure. I look at them as they flee away from the rocket silo. And <laughs> yeah. they've been told they'll get kicked. <laughs> Truly incredible. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, and then grenades are going off now. Fantastic. This is definitely one of one of the games of Factorio. <laughs> oh my god. What is the time? Someone just got 55 banned. minutes. Throwing a grenade. <laughs> my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. There's so many players just standing around in a giant circle around the uh, the rocket silo. This is madness. Wait, did somebody make the rocket silo? Let's look at the production rocket. Nope. No, yeah. No. The silo hasn't been made yet, yeah. I'm surprised. Wait, what is still missing? And we've had time to produce three units of heavy armor and three shotguns. Um but no we are we are missing 70 concrete to make the silo 70 concrete wow thank goodness we made all of those walls <laughs> oh my goodness okay they they're handing out the band waves now this is going uh yeah that's some intense banning. Okay, the silo's being crafted. They're okay, crafting it's... the silo. Jeez. This could be a this could be a rocket. This we could actually get a rocket launch here. It will happen. They're dedicated people. We don't have the beacons, so it's gonna take forever to launch. Someone steal them. Yeah, I think so. There's some fresh beacons going down now, though. I see. So they transmit the uh, the speed to um to the rocket silo to increase its production. Yes, it increases the speed of the production, but also increases the electricity consumption. So I you see. have to have a beefy power supply. Which luckily we have because we're so good. Yes, yes, we have. We have spiffing supply of power. Right, we made one, one rocket part so far. This is going good. There's a lot of stationary people looking at the. Uh, oh my god! There's a steam train going at seven thousand miles an hour. This is just basically sums up Factorio, right? We produced a million circuits, and then there's hundreds of players on various penis-shaped uh, conveyor belts spinning around in circles truly incredible <laughs> the peak of factorio so nice we we live in a society I this is factorio this is how the end game looks like <laughs> it's just what the average factorio <laughs> experience yeah what it could be oh 
if I remember, you can also do factorial like team based PvP as well, if I remember correctly. Yes. Oh yes, yes. I tried this with my community and yeah, it it was great. It seems like quite a fun, silly thing to do. Although I wonder if like is it possible to do say hardcore where if you die once you're it's permadeath? Uh I suppose you'd have to manually yes. do it, right? With I, the I think you can just make a simple mod for it. Like if somebody died and ban him, kick him. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it, that it is some be, that is some serious hard mode. <laughs> yeah, yes. but think about that. Like Factorio, team based but hardcore, and it's just like who can wipe out the other team first? Wouldn't that just be glorious? Truly glorious? Because you could just charge the enemy team with pistols. You don't even necessarily need to like build up anything. <laughs> If you, you win, get... you get to continue to play. If you lose, you can no longer play Factorio multiplayer. <laughs> the ultimate punishment. <laughs> okay, about 20% of the way there on the rocket. Yeah, we are doing some progress. <laughs> Ooh, Damn, progress. it's taking forever. Progress is happening, though. This I wonder is... what is missing. I think it's fuel cells currently. Okay, no, now it's one of the other parts. Yeah, the fuel is a problem, but why it is? Yeah, it looks like the fuel. Yeah, something is wrong with the oil. Let's take a look at the production for the oil. Fluids. You can't move, right? Ten minutes. Yeah, I, I'm stuck. I suspect... Uh... The permission got changed? Yeah, exactly. They, Wait, they, they moved, moved the permission. Only admins can move. <laughs> Spiff, can you move? Um, I don't think I'm in Okay. Admin. I can move. I can move. Oh, I can move. Yeah. Oh my god, right. Over to the center I go. I am one of the chosen <laughs> ones. Ha, ah, you fools. <laughs> we are the chosen one. I mean, there's if you're there's some people who are stationary and they're just mining copper ore off of the ground. <laughs> this could make a difference. Hello, Trufen. Hello. hello. Hello, chosen one. Join me, chosen one, by, our, by the rocket. We may gaze it's upon going. it. Jesus, so, so many players. So do you know what we can do? We can rotate the other players. Just look at those losers yep. and press R. And you can rotate those. Oh my <laughs> god. You scrubs. <laughs> I can spin you. Yes. Yes. I can, I can spin Trupen also. That's oh, true. You. Wow, look at you go. <laughs> oh dear. This has gone surprisingly well indeed. Yeah, okay. we are finally making some progress. 31%. <laughs> Who knew the best way to, to progress in Massive Multiplayer Factorio was to remove the ability to move from 90% <laughs> of the players? <laughs> it's it's not just move. They, they can't do anything. They can't do anything. <laughs> 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 yes, this is peak factory. Honestly, this is what I think most factory bosses wish they could do. Like you just <laughs> you have a long, hard day of work and then you freeze all of your workers in place, keep them overnight and then start up again in the morning. This is the future. Imagine the poor people who waited an hour and something in the queue just to join it. <laughs> just and to join it. <laughs> they cannot um. move. Wait, let's look at the respawn. Look, look at the respawn, Spiv. There's Where's so the many people here. Uh, on the right. On the right. The big square on the right. Oh my goodness, yeah, there's a lot of them. There's <laughs> a lot of them. It's almost like when we activated nukes and killed all of the players in one go and they just all respawned at the same time. I think we've got like 200 people to layer on the respawn. If you're in the middle, you couldn't move. Speedrun yeah. uh, rules don't say anything about permission, does it? So no, I don't think it. I, I don't think Te it's technically it's a valid run. <laughs> I mean, yeah. somebody ran the comment to turn on the day. I think because it got to light uh, for some time. I mean, it's night right now. Hmm. Right, forty-five. Okay, we're we're almost uh, we're almost halfway there on the rocket. This one. A little bit slower to build. I wonder why. Um, <laughs> for some reason, there's there's the players who can't move right, but then one person was in a train, 
and they've still been able to move until just now because their train has finally run out of coal. <laughs> oh. Wait, so, Spiff, we are supposed to do something. Are we? Oh, yeah, we need to add fish to the rocket. Yeah. What can I do? They're like the moving members, so we have to do Wait, the I've stuff. I've got the fish. Where does it go? Uh, you have to wait when it will be 100% and then yeah. you have to put it inside and press okay. launch. Okay, I'll do that. I'll I'll be the one to launch the the fish into space and then 900 people can get this stupid achievement all in one go. <laughs> you think you can do it? Of course I can. I believe you have in to myself. be fast. I've got 100 fish. 140 fish we could send to space for the dolphins. Please go and grenade the spawn. Troopin, can you go do that? I'd love to watch that. Yes, yes, I'm on the way. But I have to craft the grenades. That doesn't take much, right? It's like coal. Uh, yeah, but I need the resources. Uh, do, 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 do. Coal and iron plate. I'm sure you can steal that from a line. I don't think it's going to destroy um, <laughs> destroy the, <laughs> the factory setup currently. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to steal the stuff. Okay, there is the iron. And also the coal. Where is coal? Okay, I see the coal. I just put six uh, iron plates in your inventory. Doing oh. my part. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm crafting 17 uh, grenades. Fantastic. This will be potentially the largest single kill with a grenade in Factorio history. So, another world record set today. <laughs> <laughs> He's peeping. I think your fish are missing. My fish are missing? Did you take my fish? <laughs> you bastard. You did! Give me back my fish. <laughs> it's important we get this achievement done. So, as a developer, do you get, like... Do you get admin on every single server in existence in the game? Yes. <laughs> Oh wow, that's a, I thought you were gonna be like no, but wow, that's a nice perk to have. Oh. That sounds like abusing of power. You got any job openings Maybe. available? <laughs> <laughs> For extraordinary uh, <laughs> applicants, yes. Unfortunately, I'm highly average. How, how good are you with Blender? Um, I know how to hire people on Fiverr who are good at it. <laughs> Look at these people joining the game. There's more people for you to kill, Troopin. All right. Should I do it? I you am on the it. respawn. Do it. I'm executing the plan. Oh, <laughs> so we're well. saving the map. <laughs> Just remember this war crime. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> 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 Tin Man Poop lived! The one survivor! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at the kill feed! Jeez. And they're all back. Oh. And they're, all of their animations are synced up because they all spawned in at the same time. <laughs> oh my god. Good job, Troopin. New world record Th set. Thank you, boss. All right, we've got the rocket taking off shortly. I'm here with the fish. I can just shift click to put it in, right? Oh, oh there uh, go. yes. Okay, preparing for launch. How do I get it in now? Does the rocket have to come out? Uh, yes, but you have to be quick because if somebody else is gonna press the start the rocket, mm -hmm. you're not gonna be fast enough. Can I shift click it in, right? I think so. Okay. I says launched. No. Ah, oh, no, it's, no. It's I didn't get the fish in. It's control click, not shift. I, 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 there was no menu for it. There was no menu. Take my fucking fish to space, you ungrateful bastard. You failed. I <laughs> failed. I believed in you. I believed in the fish. Oh, no one gets the fish achievement. Unless somehow someone put some fish on that, but I'm, I'm doubting it. Yay! Yay! Character kills 134. <laughs> I wonder who is that? 30% of them can be accounted to one man. 
I know nothing oh, about this. It wasn't God. me. Well played, everyone. Well played. Only an hour and four minutes. That's not even a bad speedrun on a normal day of Factorio. That's the thing. That's pretty good. I'm going to save the record. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you for joining me, guys. Um... It's been very yeah, nice thank to meet you, you Twins, and, and me. seeing you again, Troopin. But yeah, I'll see you guys around. I'll head off and end my stream now. But thank yeah, you very take much. Care. Bye bye. Well, there we have it, guys. Um, that was Factorio speedrun live. We have broken two records: one for the largest, one for the largest successful speedrun of Factorio in terms of players, and another for the incredible, incredible actual fastest speed run in the entirety of Factorio history and chances are it's never going to be beat again it's it's very unlikely that either of these can ever be beaten if you're a youtuber watching this and you have a large audience give it a go i'd, I'd love to hear it if you're planning it let me know in the comments section because i'd love to know if you do do it i, I want to be there to watch and also to get the achievement uh, and get my name on the list but thank you very much, chat. That was an incredible run. I can't believe we actually got a second rocket, like second rocket off. That's insane. Absolutely insane. Anyway, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Thank you very much to everyone who liked the stream. Thank you to everyone who's watching the VOD at home. Um, that was phenomenal. Absolutely phenom phenomenal. Christmas stream this year, Spiff Rimbaud, please. Unfortunately, I can't do a Christmas stream this year. I'm going away on Wednesday. Um to celebrate Christmas with family so I don't think I'm going to be able to get a stream in before Wednesday and if I do I'd probably want to do a Skyrim one but yeah I don't think we're going to be able to do it um, Jesus Christ the server's dying now I'm just going to click finish <laughs> that's Factorio done for me we did it we built one of the factories of all time oh. yes thank you very much everyone who liked the stream I hope you guys enjoyed that form of entertainment um thank you for hosting this i didn't com i didn't host this i just provided a lot of the chaff um i i would like to thank team steelax who are the factorio speedrunning community you can google them you can um find their discord it's all public and um yeah you can uh you can go 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 join team steelax um as they quite regularly do this so hats off to everyone apparently there were still 120 players joining even at the end as the game was over that was definitely amazing um is there a voice chat i could join which voice chat has the most people in it god all of them have a lot of people in so one with this endless screaming masses i guess general seed as well you can obviously save the game and get a save off that and use that for uh if you want to do it yourself with some people oh, it's, it's super fun the multiplayer master multiplayer on it is super super fun hence why we've been doing it for a couple of years now and uh yeah well, we got a world record. What more could you want? So our second run time, we got the official world record. We knocked a couple of minutes off, and then we had absolute chaotic fun launching a rocket with God knows how many people. Well so done, I well done, Kobe. Well done. It was a good night. It was. Yourself? Thank you very much for inviting me. Yeah, thanks, Kobe. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Work. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Spiff, my <laughs> fish. Feel free game. to head off if you have places to go. It is very late. Yeah. Also, how dare, you, how dare you launch you the bastard rocket without fish in it? Who clicked Spiff. the bastard? How dare you, Spiff? <laughs> Spiff, you <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah. I gave Spiff, you ten dollars. Spiff, Goodbye, Spiff, you had one job. Goodbye. I tried. I tried. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god oh dear oh my god jesus christ right well um i'm going to uh i'm gonna end that for today but thank you very much for watching everyone i'll see each other all of you in the next one have a lovely day and goodbye for now thank you to everyone who donated of course thank you anthony gonzalez sorry if i missed that game biter as well thank you for your five dollars um and everyone who became a member on this stream thank you very much Thanks for the show all. I wish you a Merry Christmas, festive season, all of that nonsense. Just go have a nice, nice time in this cold weather or warm weather if you live on the other hemisphere. Goodbye.